Okay. Call a meeting to order 635. We have minutes from, I believe these are our last minute, last meeting, October 24th. Uh, take a look at those, see if you got any questions, any, any errors, any changes. We have two corrections. Two corrections. One is the vote, 610 instead of 601. Let's see, we're, we're, page which two. Rate, page two top in the uh, box. Okay. Yeah, I was going to point that out. And then, um, nobody's Bruce laughing. Bruce also pointed out um, in page three under discussion of CPA, is 100% match or 200%. Too bad. Try it. Okay. I move to accept the minutes of October 24, 2017, as amended. How long has it been since we got the 100 percent? Oh, I don't think in the time that I've been here, I don't think we've gotten 100 percent. Maybe, maybe the first year I was here. Oh. But it's still, I mean, we still got, we got 91,000. Yeah, this, if you're going to talk about that, I think it's on the agenda. I have some handouts okay. on that, so. Okay. I, yeah, well, we can, it is on the agenda, so oh, we can, we'll, we'll handle, handle it there. Uh, Bruce made the motion. No. Bruce made the motion. Is there a second? Motion. Second. Can, can been I, moved and seconded <clears throat> to accept the minutes. Can I say something? Just As amended. Also on page three, even though I, I was there, but okay. I'm not a no. member. Um, had to do with all approved minutes must be sent to town clerk. All agenda requests also must be, or just, you know, postings, you know, it's the postings. Mm -hmm. um, possibly the new, it, so so where do the minutes go? Send it to post, uh, minutes go to the town clerk or the assistant, whatever okay. the farmer has informed you. Um, but for postings of meetings, it yes. goes to postings at town.deerfield.m. It, then we separate it on this end and take care of it, the website and that. So yeah, this came just, out after our meeting. Oh, it did? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's a clarification and it's postings at Deerfield? At town.deerfield.ma. That's right, US. because they just did that in November. I think you did that. I think That's for the minutes as well. It's also just the agenda. Oh. That's for agendas. Oh. Minutes, clerk. So the minutes go where? Maybe we ought to have a maybe we ought to have something that says minutes at town. Dot. I just sent to the town clerk after we approve. I'll discuss that. Sure. Yep. You could send that to postings as well, and then that will go to the people who will either put it on the website and in the records where we keep the records for you. So that might be a good idea. We can put the minutes up once you once you approve them. Yeah on the website, and then they have to be filed with the town clerk. So posting should work for them as well. Okay. Okay. Bruce? I guess you're good. No, that's fine. That's what my understanding, too. Okay. All of those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carry 6-0-0. Discussion? Uh, do we have the July 10th meeting? Uh, it was actually August. August that was the problem with the date. August um, something? I should probably reprint them with the right date. Then we need to change these minutes to say August. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I didn't realize it until I looked back on the, the calendar. No, but we just voted to approve right. these. Well, that's what we thought we approved that night. <laughs> that's, we, that's what was presented that night, July 10th. I thought we did meet on July 10th. Yes. We didn't. We didn't? Okay. No. Okay. I had I put on that I was going to, sure, but, we did but the date of the, the minutes, I, I think they're August 15th or something like that. I, okay. I looked it up to okay. find out. Well, we didn't vote it, so. We didn't vote it. So we're safe. So no, these minutes, no, these oh, minutes are wrong. No, what was presented that night was July 10th. Yes, it was July 10th that night. Oh, okay. was, was presented and we didn't take a vote on it because it wasn't 
Oh, Is I there? see what you're saying. Okay. 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 Yep. Moving okay. on. <laughs> <laughs> Discussion development of budget. Uh, all of you have the budget uh, in front of you. you know, if you want to take a look at it, questions. And I, I think there probably are at least a half a dozen, maybe a dozen of these budget items that uh, you're getting these um, uh, consistent with the board getting them, select board getting them. So this is for your information, uh, but they haven't. It's, it hasn't been submitted to you by the board yet for your vote. It hasn't been reviewed by them, and you know this is simply showing from the, the department heads. Or but for example, the first one is from the moderator. Yes. That doesn't need to go to the selectmen. Um, it's not there to, it it's not their department. Submit the whole budget to you. But it's not the way it works. That is the way it is described in the. That's fine, but it doesn't need to go to the selectmen. Why do we? Okay. <clears throat> we do not work for the selectmen. That's right. why. Been through this we are not, that's right, we are not at their beckoning call. You're getting them and you can review them, but these, you may get something different from the board. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Well, we better not get something different from the moderators. No, the moderator I spoke with, okay. he's happy with this budget. I don't think there'll be something different on that, but I'm speaking more generally. Okay. Okay. So these ones that are pretty simple. Can you go ahead and go ahead? <clears throat> um, I noticed that some of these budgets um, do not have salaries. Do we have? None of them have none salaries. Of, none of them have salaries because that hasn't been determined yet. There was a personnel meeting. Some night. of them there was one, one There was one last night. That's right. But until the select board um, confirms what they have uh, uh, recommended, <clears throat> recommend, goes with their recommendation or doesn't go with their recommendation. So by tomorrow night, hopefully, we'll have an answer, and I can get back then to department heads and let them know so they can finish their budgets. As you're looking through, if you have a question uh, about the, the uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, the layout's going to be much easier to find, thanks. So yeah. I appreciate that. Yay. <laughs> Thank you. So these budgets um, represent a increase that meets the needs of the community. I mean, that's level services. Level services. What, what was asked. And that's what we received? Did anybody review Not it? Not necessarily. Um, <laughs> um, th these budgets are budgets that either we've received or I worked with, with Brenda or, you know, I gave, gave our budgets. Every day we're getting some more. They're not due till December 22nd, but we're trying to stay ahead, especially with these smaller things that are usually the same from year to year. Um, but the, the board has, I think you have more up-to-date budgets right now, unless you've done their books. I did Kip's and then I gave Carolyn her copy, okay. but Trevor doesn't have his updated ones. Okay. So, for anything you want to ask about, that seems not to be by appearances level service. If I can answer those questions, I, I think once we have a chance to review it, yes. Okay. I would hope that if they think they need to spend more than level service, they would do the budget area. that way and request it. Of a, instead of going over budget. You know what I mean? <coughs> I 
What, would you? I'm not sure I'm following you. No. Down. Well, if they figure, if they if the level budget's five thousand dollars and they think they need six thousand, I would hope they put down six thousand. Right. Their justification. Of, huh? And put justification. Yeah. If it's yeah. it's not a level budget in terms of this was not what the select level board service. level services, which is to continue the same services. Yeah, oh, don't okay. Right. yeah okay, okay. okay. Yeah. just level to be clear about that. Level, right. yeah, so, but there were also that. some things in here that I've put in to whatever and we discussed last night one thing at the personnel board. Um, so happy to answer any questions about those things. There's a training budget in here. Um, I, I have that, not done the training okay. budget yet because I'm not sure where that goes. Okay. So that's a, a research item for while you're gone. Okay. Training by department. No, generally. So we can do some trainings. We're so behind on things, but to catch up, do um, well. One of the things we're trying, to do, the personnel board is recommending, is that we start um, an evaluation performance management program, and I would like to do that in conjunction, a training with that and supervisory training, and we initiate that for the department. Um, so that would be next fiscal year. Um, and we haven't had any kind of a harassment training, and I don't know when the town ever had one, frankly, and we should be doing that every year. Um, so not to, to anti-harassment training. So updating our policy around that and, and training on that as well. <laughs> now, we take advantage of all the free training that we can. We get them through EAP, Maya, um, and then there are certain ones that specific departments need to go to for certification. Those will be requirements for employees and community members? Which? Karen. Uh, Is it just town employees? At this point, I'm, you know, keeping it le low. Um, and, right. you know, the, the other kinds of trainings are built into people's budgets. But well, something like exactly staff-wide. Now, there might be a training that we really should include Did committees we as well as staff in. So, but we just have to start somewhere. And, and get right. these right. stuff yeah. Done. <coughs> We didn't. Huh? So basically, we shouldn't spend a lot of time on these budgets until after the select them given to us. No, there's not. There's not much. I mean, the, the ones that we that we could take a look at and vote uh, are those the ones like the well, finance committee and uh, other moderators' salaries and those kinds of things that are. Yeah, we pretty much, but that doesn't matter. I mean, we can make a list of those the next time we meet uh, and go over those quickly. Yeah. Will it be helpful for me? Well, for tonight, <laughs> the next couple of days. Um, and Brenda, I suppose, and getting this to the board is where questions you have and or concerns and let us know so we can be prepared to address them. So take a look at that. I don't think we've short notice. We can right. Any questions the, that make sense. The, the only thing that, that's not in here that, and I don't know whether you started it yet or not, are the are the summary page that. Correct. Was, I said I, I did not include that because there was really no reason to, since we really didn't even have a third of the budgets yet. So I didn't see any reason to do it. We've got police. Things always ready early on this. We've been working on capital. I've got those, so I hope. <laughs> and I'm um, going to meet with Jeff and um, Jack Davy tomorrow to talk about those. Okay. And they're meeting next week, Monday, Monday. night. Yeah. Yep. So, any, does anyone have any questions on any particular budgets that they've seen? Do you want me to point out anything? Sure. Why did I do that? <laughs> <laughs> um, you have no more budget for the finance committee. I'm just kidding. What's that? Uh, nothing. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's see where there are any changes that I know. I think the, the first one that's legal. Oliver uh, well, Smith. Well, le legal um, I didn't print yet because we, we don't know that one yet. Right. Okay, it's in the window. Um, Oliver Smith, uh, we just went through everything, and I said, you know, let me check into that. There's no reason, really, why we need to have anything there. We don't spend that money. They don't require us. I talked to the 
uh, administrator of the Olivers, the Smith trustees, they said, no, we don't require it. So it's not been spent. And so unless, Mary, you have some other information about that? Um, I just know we need to vote one every year. I mean, isn't it up every year, the Olivers? We have, we have voted it. We voted $20, but $20. there's no reason to do that. Hmm? No, there's no not. external reason for having to do that. She's talking about voting for um, a trustee. A trustee. This is a twenty dollar line item for right. that. Mm -hmm. we the don't trustee need that we vote usually gets it. It's twenty dollars, but I figured let's yeah. clean up the hubbub, right? Okay. Well, yeah, we, we so spent I researched something in it in two thousand thirteen, okay. but we've never spent anything since. We couldn't. You're supposed it. to get twenty twenty dollars every year. We couldn't find anything. There's no, it probably cost more than twenty dollars to get twenty yeah. dollars. Yeah. Well, it does. <laughs> the only question is, and I, and I think you've answered if it's it. It's required. It, then we don't have to do it if it's not required. That's that what I Oliver's researched. I called the trust. I talked to the administrator. Okay. I said, "Where is it required that we contribute something?" Or we've been putting twenty. No, no. You know, generally they meet four times a year. And if they're um, a, an executive committee, it's more often, and they it's actually get paid, yeah, they get paid when they're on the executive right. committee, but not from us. They get paid from the trust. So mm -hmm. we don't need that $20. If I'm wrong, hmm. I did my research, but that's my opinion. I would have, I would have preferred it if you had found a budget that was 100000 and we could eliminate that. <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But it's a good start. <laughs> Personnel board, if you want to talk about Personnel board. Um, we the personnel board met, met last night, and I discussed budget with them, and um, we put in it's much higher because the board expressed a lot of interest in going to trainings. Which number? Um, personnel board one fifty two fifty four hundred, and it's a uh, it's probably. A very conservative number in terms of if, if the interest expressed and the costs involved um, for uh, going to the personnel association trainings and workshops. If everybody wanted to go, uh, we'd have to figure that out. But um, I was very pleased that their response was interest in that because mm -hmm. um, they're very valuable meetings that I, the few that I've been able to go to, have been very useful. It also includes the membership fee, or is that separated? No, the dues, no, the dues in are in there, too. Right now, the dues uh, came out of um, Wendy's budget. Right. So it's, what, $200 you said last night? That's what the dues are? Two, well, 200 I can't remember. Yeah. I Something like that. Yeah, but, there's um, been 250 in there. But with everything remember. that's happening now, we really need to make sure that the personnel board is following, it, you know, what should be done. You know, and the networking that is happens with us too is very, very important. So, that's mostly why I go. Mm -hmm. I take the lawyer aside after the presentation, say, "Well, we've got this situation and that situation." Yeah, right. Get those <coughs> so uh, so that's a, a major increase, but that we have a good, engaged board, and we're moving forward and getting, bringing the, our personnel practices. Fully staffed. Is it, the number, is it fully staffed personal? Oh, um, do we have one more opening, I think, mm -hmm. on that? Yes. Okay. We do. Any more questions on personnel board budget? Not for me. Would you give a quick overview of the uh, PEG access? Yes, that's the capital. capital. That is money that's actually delineated in our Comcast license agreement for PEG access. Over the 10-year contract, the first year was $50,000, which we have currently. They submit an invoice, and Brenda pays them. It used to pass right through, correct? Well, actually, actually um, Comcast uh, gives us a check for that. So last year, in fiscal 17, they gave us a check for $50,000. Mm -hmm. So then, the in year. fiscal 18, we appropriated that to go towards FCAT, because it has to. So this year, we just received our check, $11,000. So in fiscal 19, we're appropriating that. So why did we only get 11000 Because it was a, a declining contract. So they gave you 50000 up front. They gave you 11000 the second year. And all the rest of the years are 4000 And how long does that last? The length of the 10-year contract. Oh, it's Then 10 we reneg renegotiate the contract. Do we have a contract with FCAP? 
I am working on that. So we can't pay him until we have a contract. Well, the town has been doing it for many. I'm many just years. saying. Right. You don't pay without a contract. The finance committee would not, I don't think, support paying a, a, a provider without a contract. Mm -hmm. <coughs> well, it is delineated in the license that it goes to the to the access provider. So. Um, I, that was on one of my lists for January. Do we charge a rent for the facilities here, or is that, do they? No. Do you some? No. Mm -mm. No. We're in some okay. This actually came up at bylaws review. Do you want to talk about that at all? I, I mean, it's really. a minute on this? Yes. Is the $11,000 meet our contractual agreements or non-contractual agreements with that guy? What is their charge? Do they charge the towns a certain amount of money every year? Uh, it's twenty thousand dollars every quarter, so we pay them eighty thousand. And so we this eleven thousand will reduce that. This is capital. No, we have three different separate. payments we get okay. from Comcast. That's we get the subscriber fee. We get this the is capital only. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. only capital. So they get operating expenses via that twenty thousand. And that is why I have you know, budget. <clears throat> Now, what did you want out of me? I didn't know if you wanted to talk about the conversation we had about reactivating the the uh, cable committee. No. Okay. Okay. We do have we do have something in the bylaws. I don't have the book with me that stems from way back when it was originally set up about a cable advisory committee, <clears throat> and it, it it appears that you know we were kind of trying to figure out what to do with it and we just kind of push it aside for a moment because it seems though FCAT has kind of gone off on their own and with their programming and everything else and doesn't seem to be any supervision for it at all and that goes right back to what you're saying you're operating without a contract and so you know we were kind of looking to see how valid that original vote was that uh, instituted a uh, cable advisory committee in the bylaws, but it goes to the point where I think it, uh, the bylaw calls for it to allot $840 in a space in the town hall for it. That's how old that bylaw goes. Mm -hmm. yeah, also. yeah, we think it had to do with the setting up of Deerfield Community Television. Originally. It, it was then a joint committee with Sunderland, I think, after that. What's that? Then they had sort of joined with Sunderland to create. Somewhere along yeah. the line, because they originally had a Deerfield channel, and then there was a Sunland channel, and then there was, what, 25, I think, picked up Conway, and then the last two or three years, they kind of merged them all together. And that was the purpose, was because it was just too much difference in all the uh, equipment in the different towns, so that's why they originally had different channels. But now that it's moved together, uh, and they like say it's, it's well, they've kind of lost their direction when, with no, no, no supervision. I don't know. I think isn't there a commission of, that's set up and there's members of each community on their board? Not that we have found. I mean, that's there. There was the cable television advisory committee, which right. is supposed to function in advising the 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 agreement with the cable company, which is different with Comcast for right. the licensing because the licensing was done jointly with right. the three towns. That was for that's, the licensing, but it was not for oversight of the... Uh, no. Oh, I thought that there was... No, this other... They, then they have their own board as a non-profit, which is different. There's potentially three different entities. Cable Television Advisory, which yeah. advises the select board on the license agreement, works with the licensing attorney that the town works with a non-existent at this point, still on the books, cable commission, cable board that would oversee from Deerfield. So FK has, FK has bylaws. Yes, they do. They're a nonprofit. Yeah, they're nine. I understand they're looking for board members. Well, it was my understanding that, I, from what I heard, that they, their bylaws required a member from each town. I think Father, sorry, I forget his name, is a member of the board from here in Deerfield. But how does the, who appoints that person? The, the, yeah. the, I don't know. Yeah, that's, 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 that
I think we should see the bylaws if we have questions. So you're going to you're going to talk to FCAT about their bylaws, sir? I would like to have a copy of them. I have no problem with that. Get them online. It's just Secretary of State's office. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I do want to have the contract. I've talked with them a lot about that. So if Sunderland has one. I'd like. I got. Yeah, they just signed one about three months ago. Yeah, it needs to be. Really, I have more that I want to see in there. So. The uh, the planning board last year we sort of negotiated some place along the way to reduce their budget and. Is this their request, or is this something that can you we give us put numbers together? so we can? Uh, but where are you? It's 75. the next. Yeah, 175. Huh? 175, It's the next so page, this is actually. Yeah. From last night's meeting, when you said that they they approved the level funding, so I put it in as level funding, a okay. thousand, because that's what they got right. this last year in mm -hmm. fiscal eight. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's yeah, the next you page. You just said level funding for the planning. That's what access. they voted, so I, no, I went ahead and did it. It isn't. Should no. we vote on them if we're discussing them? No. I'm sorry. Because no. John had, sorry. had um, agreed to yeah. 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 Okay, 175, 5400. I guess that flipped through and looked because I had it. It got reduced. Do you need to check that or should I check that? Well, actually, we had we had adjusted the uh, the budget last yeah, last I year. I offered the amendment to a dollar. Right. <laughs> How much have they spent so far? Can I borrow one of your stickies? Oh. They've only spent 118 yeah. so I know. far. <laughs> I realize that. Just they mark. spent three thousand on the other. I'll be able to check with them. Priscilla tomorrow, but I can check it Thursday. Okay, uh, where are we at now? 175, 400. Oh, you're still talking about, about planning board. I'm going to check with John Waite or with uh, Priscilla and find out what they what, if they, that was what they voted last night. But I, that was my understanding was that they voted level funding. Mm -hmm. Doesn't add up. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so. Yeah, that's right. This this is a good one that. We don't have any particular interest in, and so the process on the planning board. How would you envision that working for their budget? You mean for them to come in and talk about it? Well, or? no. I'm talking about the relationship between the planning board, the selectmen, the finance committee. Um, I think that we. Verify this is what they're looking for. But I mean, do they submit the budget to the to the select board? Yeah, me, you, me, and yes. These numbers me that are in the, this book have been submitted to you. Uh, what, is what well, would, it, it, we gleaned it from me, their meeting last course. night. I we understand. need to just check because we're having a little conversation here. We just want to check with them. Yeah. Well, no, forget <laughs> the forget the number. I'm just talking about the. Process yeah. that the planning board would go through. Right. Any department has to submit their budget. They're now sending to Brenda. I'm handling capital, but ultimately they come to the board. You get it also, you know, concurrent. But it comes to the board. They make their recommendation. You. Who would they make their recommendation? They make, they make their. They make the budget proposal to you, the select board. After they take first look at this, then you so can let's, have let's, a different opinion or not. Let, let me. Yeah. So let's let me just make an assumption that the uh, planning board had decided that they wanted five thousand mm -hmm. dollars, and so it goes to the select board tomorrow night, and the select board says, "Now nah, we would like to see them with a thousand dollar budget." What will come to the finance committee? You should see both the requested and what the select board is submitting. What the department requested and what the select board is submitting. What the select board would recommend. Yes. With the narrative of well, why it's, the recommend. select board is proposing. Let's put it that way. You recommend just to delineate responsibilities here. So they would propose um, the. Board, the department head submits, the board votes, 
the select board votes and you make a recommendation. That's what you so should So what say. is it the select board is voting? To approve their, the budget as submitted or not. And what happens if they do or don't? They can either change their mind in negotiations with you or uh, department head, but at one point that becomes the submitted budget to town meeting. What does? What does? What the select, what we put in the warrant. What okay, the we, need, we need clarification on that because the, the planning board is an elected board. They get to request money as far as I'm concerned, mm -hmm. it's my understanding. Their request goes directly to town meeting and town meeting gets their request and the finance committee's recommendation. Nothing in there that says word one about the board of selectmen. Mm -hmm. So I ask the question okay. again. Okay, what's yeah, the, I think that's a good question. What's the select boards? Why are they even looking at the budget? I mean, I have I certainly they look don't, at the whole budget in its entirety. I certainly don't object to them. I understand at the budget what you're asking. And making their two cents worth no. Mm -hmm. That seems only reasonable. Mm -hmm. And and that would be, as far as I'm concerned, that would be the case for any elected board. Uh, clearly, clearly the mm -hmm. school committees right. don't, well, they don't pay well, attention to the finance committee either, but they certainly don't pay attention to the mm -hmm. board of selectmen. I think you raise a good point. I, I will pursue that with the board with the elected board. How about pursuing it with uh, DOR? It, I think those kind of things they leave to the towns to decide. If you, if you read the introduction, by the way, to the Finance Committee handbook that I sent you all, you will see that, that the complicated nature of the relationship between the Finance Committees and Select Boards, and I actually followed up with the author of that book. I said, will you say this? Then I looked at Alan Tosti. I looked at what he did in uh, Newton, see the chair of the finance committee, and I said, I didn't see that bylaw that you said we need to have for the, it to work the way you're suggesting. He said, oh, we do it through the Town Managers Act that we adopted. So it's not clear when you go to their website where that authority derived. Anyway, you probably don't know what I'm talking about. But I do recommend that you read, read uh, the introduction because he specifically in the finance committee handbook talks about these kinds of, you know, who, and it's a constant issue in, in many communities. But I think that you raise a good question about coming from elected boards. And I would support the idea that, um, you know, that their submission is what should go before you. Um, and select board can negotiate, perhaps, and with them if they had a different perspective. But I mean, I, I guess, you know, I would like to have the. Uh the negotiation at some point in time is going to be through your office one way or the other, but uh, in general. Mm -hmm. There aren't that many budgets, you know, yeah, school committee. <laughs> yeah. Okay, any other? Any yeah, other well, I thought opinions? that was true for departments also, well, that it went to us. Well, and the we, police, and the we police we, department, for example, they work, they work for the Board of Selectmen. So I understand the Selectmen saying, look, before you make any recommendations on the budgets for those departments that are directly employed by the Board of Selectmen, they want their two cents worth in, and if they make a change, it is their change. I mean, I, I, mean, I guess we could get into an argument about that, but if the Selectmen said, no, in Wendy, in your office, we're going to have a half-time administrator and a half-time clerk, and that's it. But when that it comes might to be the, the budget that comes here. When it comes to the town meeting, no, we present what we think. We it's our budget. recommend. It's our budget. Right? We make a recommendation on the budget. Right. So but if, if we're you not notice, it, it, it's the requested figure, and that the requested figure. My two cents worth, and you'd have to get somebody else to disagree with me, and I'm sure you could find somebody who would. In the case of the select board's office or the town clerk's office, they work directly for, then if the selectmen say the requested amount is this, 
I may not like it, but I think that's what we have to work with. And we can negotiate with them to bump it up to where we think it should be, but it is. I what thought it was supposed to be our budget that got presented at the town meeting. It's. It should be in a the, consensus the, budget between the two boards. If you disagree, no, you can have a diff. No, but what gets presented to the people at, at the town meeting doesn't necessarily have to be a consensus. Let them decide. Right. Well, that's where you recommend differently. Right. In, in the recent past, in the town of Deerfield, the requested uh, budget is presented along with the finance committee's recommendation. And if the select board had um, a, a different recommendation, that would be brought up on town floor, town mm -hmm. meeting floor. That's that's the way I've seen it happen in the in the short time I've been here. Well, that's the way it, it's it's always happened, and, and and they have. The select board has gone in and said, look, you know, we we don't like the requested figure from the department or from whomever, and we don't agree with the finance committee. We think it should be such and such. Mm -hmm. So that's not, and that's and has worked well for the town of Deerfield at least up to this point. I, you well, know, from they might have a different perspective on that. <laughs> no, I, I mean I don't. So I agree. That's whether it works well. Or not. <laughs> yeah. uh, question relative to when the select board will have um, the proposed budget to us, what they approve. I'm sorry, I can't answer that question. Thursday. First of all, they're not due till December 22nd. So and, I the, and by the calendar, it looks like it's not due to us until January 30th. Right. But so this is by way of being prepared to, you know, keep so anything information. we vote becomes different to us from the select board. It's a different number or whatever. We have to re-vote between them. Yeah, I Except th their number or I think what we're, we, we were doing when we were putting this together was thinking what we do think is likely, that's why we held back on a few that we've been talking about because we're not sure yet, is likely to be what you'll, you'll what, get. I mean, if, the, if a department had submits a budget and it goes to the select board and they change it, which sheet are we going to get? Are we going to get the well, department heads or are we going to get the select boards? This is what I was suggesting that we do, that we have, we, we can show you what was requested. I'm, I'm coming up the right terms here. Pro requested, um, uh, recommended, proposed, and recommended. You're, the department heads request, the select board propose, and you make a recommendation. Because that's that hasn't happened last year. No, my Correct. first year. That's we just got one whole, sheet, which came from the which came from the department. Mm -hmm. Either that, or last year the selectmen agreed with all of the what the department had submitted. They pretty I, much did. Yeah, I yeah, except for the planning board in April. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it, but I think you know I it, like I said with those departments. Your department, your department. Uh, you know, I think they get they get to put their oh, right. stamp on it. It is their responsibility. Uh, when it's the schools, you know. Yeah. And I mean, and maybe even to that end, I should take all the binders back from you tonight, and then no, that way I can right. keep adding to them so that we're not worrying about where things fit. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, after, yeah, after I think that's a that. very good idea. <laughs> Get the selectmen's back from them too, because you know, they're not going to do anything with them when they're. Well, you know, I've worked in lots of towns, and they all do things slightly differently. And this kind of yeah. tension between select board and finance committee is, is you know, when you read the introduction, you'll see that it, it's not uncommon. But it's also, you know, a lot of communities work consistent together. On on it, when I was in Leverett, they pretty much. The administrator put the budget together, and um, when I was the interim there, I worked with the accountant on that as well. And we sent it to the board, and then we'd have the meetings together. It was much smaller there, of course, but the finance committee came in, and they together worked on through I the think, budget. I think and they, they focused mostly on the, on the school, because that was everything, frankly. But yeah, I think Terry Williams indicated that in Dalton, the finance committee works pretty closely with the select board also. I mean, I, I think, you know, we don't, and I'm, I'm not a fan, it's, I think it's clear, of having joint meetings, but that doesn't mean you don't work together. Mm -hmm. 
Well, we're sort of feeling our way, partly because of the change in the board, the change in my office, me. <laughs> you know, it, we're figuring this out together, and I think we can make, you know, we'll make something work that works for everybody. Mm -hmm. So, so the, the reason to take the books back will be so she can keep them updated. So I can keep so updating them. So, how, but how do we know if we're going to be looking at some of these? We're gonna. I like to have before we vote on, on a specific budget. I mean, it's almost like you need a, a budget a week or two, whatever budgets we're going to vote on a week or two prior to the meeting. Specifically, those only those budgets. I want to get the books back at that point. I, I'm not sure about. Okay, if you if you would rather keep yours, keep yours. And I mean, if we're gonna, if if you ask me to review what's in here. Right, you need the time you to do that. That makes sense. But to keep them updated, I think they have to be updated mm -hmm. at our meeting mm -hmm. or prior to. Okay. All right. Well, or we, I, mean, that's just my this, I think the point is sort of to get you some stuff to start looking and talking about things. But, you know, the alternative is to just wait and give it to you all at, when it's all ready to go to you. Um, and give that to both. To select, well, the select board will get it. And, because they're going to meet with well, people. For example, they're going to you have know, people. You know that we're not going to get the school's budgets. I mean, neither the select right. board or the finance committee are going to wait to do their jobs until the schools have submitted their budgets. It's just not going to happen. So, uh, because we don't get the damn budgets from the schools mm -hmm. until at least the, the final budgets until March. Now we we can probably get the school budgets as soon as uh, the meeting, the first meeting in in, uh, in January, because I believe that's when the, the schools get the budgets and if it goes on the table, then they're available. Does it say in the regional agreement? What the plan is? Well, if it goes if it goes on the if it goes on the table, mm -hmm. and if they hand them out to the school committee members, then yeah. they're open to the public. So. I usually get a copy of that, so I'm happy to yeah. share that. Speaking of the schools, and, 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 uh, we should do that. Yeah, I think you, we'd like to separate the school health yeah. from the general government health, I, I would, health insurance. I would also suggest <coughs> that you look at all the benefits. So, I mean, it's not a lot of money, but nonetheless, Such as? Un unemployment. Uh, what's the other one besides it? Well, workers' comp is already spread out to them, so health insurance. Um, it's really health primarily insurance is the big that's one. the big yeah. one, and I really think that's. I think it would be more difficult for Barbara to separate all those other things. Uh, Barbara was willing to separate them out. I think yep. the deal was is, is is they needed to include it in their budget, and I I, I thought we talked about that a while back, but um, I'm not talking health. I'm talking about other ones. Oh, the other ones. Yeah. Yeah. Health we can do, but yeah. the, the others I think would more, be more uh, difficult. Well, well, well the unemployment is pretty obvious. Who's who's school and who isn't? Yeah, it's. But I think this year we can put it on the town meeting as a separate item. Uh, it it doesn't necessarily have to have. The school doesn't have to approve it if they don't. But, but I think we can go through that process so a year from now, then they can take possession of the, the entire thing. I think that the, dis the discussion that uh, Wendy and Barb and I had was that the school um, will take responsibility for the insurance once they have to include it in their budget. And until they yeah. do, there's no sense in breaking it out. And, and since their budgets are, are all put together now, they just haven't handed them to the school committee. It would be, it would be difficult. I did, I did think we wanted to at least show the difference between Yes. We're talking about Deerfield Elementary. Deerfield Elementary. Oh. Well, not necessarily. Well, yes, it would be Deerfield Elementary because Mm -hmm. Frontiers is already in there. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. So it's just, yeah, I think it should be in health insurance and retirement benefits. And, and you could do retirement too if, the, if uh, Barbara can break that out. Well, the health insurance for the retirees is.
kind of lumped into that. Well, I, mean, I, would, she can I meant the that, that 18 percent that we get hit with, or whatever it is this coming year for retirement. Split it up so that you get school employees, non-school. Well, we employees. take one thing at a time. <laughs> I think the health insurance will be. They're gonna. I mean, we, we'll talk about it. We'll it's a good start. It. Health first. Yeah. Okay. We did. We did that in Leverett. That's why yeah. I think we should do it here. I mean, it made sense. So you have to have that number anyway for the report they do, right? They have, they exactly. have to all work. They yeah. have to all the right. numbers. Yeah. And, and while you remember keeping track of that. Yeah. 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 And they well, still do. Yeah. While we're on the topic of health insurance, we don't know what's going to happen. They're trying to change the plan to keep it affordable and, not, um, and only, I think, only a 5% increase. But I don't know because it's a complicated process. And how many units? 42 or, or more units, member units of the trust. We're also looking at getting... A, waiting for Maya to give us also a, a bid on, on health insurance. We um, we'd like that? to stay with the trust if we can. Are we part of that? We're part of the Health that, Hampshire Group Insurance Trust. Are we part of the group that's asking Maya for additional costs? No, that's an individual town thing. Are we doing that? I, we did. Okay. We're waiting for that. Um, the, the unions are pressing because they don't want any change, and so they are pressing that we, you know, um, get other bids. So um, I think it's, ha it's going to be apples and oranges because Maya's going to want to, you know, give us a lower price to get in the first year and then not be able to guarantee where we'll go from there. But at any rate, we're working on that too. Um, and this is the other thing that pops into my mind as you were talking about payments to schools. We did um, uh, charge the buildings for sewer this year, just, do, just sent them bills. So. That I thought that had happened last year, but it is happening now. So, so we're getting more of a sense of the actual now, cost as we do these the things. Building that that set both buildings. Did the elementary school and Frontier get built? Okay. There was some. What was it? Five thousand. That was the. Uh, there was something that Frontier was already paying by. Yeah, year. but that was I just a guess. It's, a it's lot still more. maybe it's it's like eighteen thousand dollars or something. Yeah. I forget exactly what it was. Okay. I wasn't prepared mm -hmm. to talk about that, but I came into my mind and I thought, those of you who are not on the Stewart Study Committee, which is one of you, I think, <laughs> might not know that. So, any um, other questions on the planning board? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a question on one ninety two fifty four thirty. That's town office expense. Mm -hmm. And yes, it's, it has gone up uh, noticeably. Um, we're finding that our supplies are running a little higher than what was budgeted. Um, telephone is going to be a little higher. And on town reports, uh, Wendy felt that, well, first of all, we didn't think that 2,500, what we budgeted last year, is even going to cover it, um, doing the same thing we've done in the past. But Wendy felt like we needed to um, up our game a little bit with the town reports and make them a little more um, the way they used professional. to be. <laughs> well, the way they used to be, with the cover and with you know, it's been yeah, a generic town report for three years. I'm sorry. It was all from competition. Um, I don't know. I've, several people have spoke. Bruce, if you want to say anything about it, I know that. I don't. You know, I I personally think it is. For, I, don't think I, I personally thought it was very poor town report last year. It was put together on a shoestring and at the last minute, and, and there again, lack of, you know, it was just so much turmoil in the select board's office at that point in time that, uh, you know, it really didn't get its due uh, attention. And, but, and if you look, go back a couple of years to see what we had been expended on it, uh, I honestly don't know why it had dropped down so much in 217 and 218. Because it had uh, fallen, nobody was kind of doing it, and uh, fortunately Pat picked it up and yeah. went to Staples, and we argued and argued and argued for a great deal to print them, yeah. and that's what we got. Yeah. So, um, but it was it was somewhat incomplete last year because there again, it's, uh, it's nobody's fault. It was just a rush rush job, and and I think it could do a little better, but. You know, I'm not so sure that we well, need five thousand dollars. Yeah, I think are you concerned you'll about the presentation of it, or are you concerned about the information inside of it? A little bit of both. Everything. Yeah. A little bit of both. Oh. 
I disagree. I think the presentation out from the physical way it looked was fine. The information needed to be, to be updated. So, mm -hmm. I agree with Bruce. Yeah, yeah Bruce. Thank you. <laughs> but what's the hardware? IT hardware, um, you know, a few years back there was always a capital budget for IT hardware. But to have a capital budget for such small items didn't make sense. Now in fiscal 18, I think we included like a $2,000 line item in contracted services where we didn't really feel like it belonged anyway, but it was there. So this year we've decided to put the IT hardware into town office and bring it up to where it really needs to be because we're spending, we've already spent way more than the 2,000 that, that we budgeted for fiscal 18 just in trying to get things up and, you know, up to speed. Um, uh, in the treasurer's office, we were dealing with computers that are eight years old, five, yes, eight yeah. years old, I can't remember. But just broken in. Yeah, we've had to, yeah. like July arrived and we needed two new computers, two things happen. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, you got, and then Pat got it, you know, and then just, you know, we, so I said, why, what happened? Because when I was here several years ago, we did have, I believe, a line item. So we could actually track, keep, keep, know that we had to, you know, it wasn't hidden away in contracted services that we know that we need to keep our, in, our IT infrastructure going and up to date. So um, this is not for fancy, this is for function. So, when so this, is this isn't very much, actually. I'm this sorry. Is your responsibility, IT? And making sure it's up to date. Um, trying to do that with with support from more techy people. Pat is good, helpful on that, and our server was down tonight. John Futter came in to help us get that going again. So and we don't have anybody that we does don't IT, have an IT that's on our staff. So it's, it's something that the town administrators have talked about locally. If, yep. if we could work Regional. with the school right. to upgrade their department, if they can add another staff person who could maybe be available to us. But you know, here we've got John. Is very reasonable, very helpful, very available. Um, but no, we don't have the capacity nor need to have a full time professional IT staff. But we do have somebody that is doing a capital plan for these improvements needed. No, we're we, just talking about computers, keyboards, mouses, I understand. just little I'm things. I'm trying to recreate so that. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. But we don't have any anyone in. The employee of the town that has, for lack of a better term, an IT background. We are sort of shooting from the hip, as is every other town. That, Correct. Uh, it's like our personnel department. Mm -hmm. It's non-existent. Uh, so we don't have an IT department. But I, don't, I think we don't need one individually for each community, but we, before Four towns in South County EMS could have an IT person. We don't need to do things just on our own. We can do things here. Well, what happens because for so long towns didn't do anything regionally. They didn't do anything, you I'm know, sorry. other than the housing authority, something like that. So they all have contracts with maybe the same person to do the work. So. So we do have a contract, though. We do. Okay. We work with John. So. Do we? I don't know if we have a contract. Okay, with maybe John. we should have a contract. He gets called in as we need him. Yeah. Call. Yeah. Help. And then, but we do have a contract <laughs> with IBS, which is a big operation. They do our backup work and some of the bigger stuff that we need to have done. Um, so we pay them three hundred dollars, about three hundred dollars a month. And they have a storage for the backup storage. They have a significant staff at Frontier for IT. I didn't thought they only had two, two well, or three people. Two or three people is more than we have. So to me, that's it's double what we have. <laughs> um, but oh. maybe we can, I mean, DFL Elementary must need IT support. And you they get it so. from the Frontier person. Mm -hmm. maybe they, they probably one use more Frontier. Person, like you said, that, that would be enough to. It. Well, we've talked about that for both and HR union. and IT. So yeah. okay. they don't have anyone for HR either. They That's like part of the business manager's job. Sure, they've got the business manager. <laughs> and you've got me and Barbara and the personnel committee. <laughs> okay. Uh, anything else under town office? Any other items that... Uh, Uh, 
um, canine control, which is 292, 5400. Yeah, I get. Um, that's gone up 11%, but it's just reflecting what the what the real budget is. It seems like we've been behind the times and under budgeting, and we've always had these reserve fund transfers. So finally, uh, John has gotten some good figures to put in there this time. Are we all going to have a contract? There, oh yeah, Thank there's you. a there's a contract. I, well, I think there's a contract no, with with uh, Greenfield for yeah, that. There is. There is. There well, is. But that it's, was it's, one. It's yeah. Oh yeah, but it's, it's, it's full of holes. It's, it's full of holes. Right. So. We yeah. talked about it the last. Now, what, what, is, what is the dog control fee? I see that's a new, new uh, item. That's a fee that uh, we've started getting the last couple of years. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but we've been paying for it, and it's never been budgeted, so we budgeted for it this year. Is that for the um, that's regional a, kennel? It's for the kennel. Oh, that's yeah. a, that is the kennel fee. Yeah, that's okay. the kennel. Because I know in the K-9 budget I there was a $300 charge in November. What's budget. that? In the K-9 budget. Okay. There was a charge of three hundred dollars or so. Uh, I don't know what that was. <coughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not going to come back on that. Um. Oh, three hundred. Somehow it rings my. The animal control officer. The, the yeah. The that ex that expenditure is nine thousand one seventy nine. Um, so far, year to date. Uh, what are you looking at? Um, I'd have to go back a lot. We're going to discuss that anyway tonight, so I'll have to find it. I'm looking What's through a, a contract um, language now that we have a new vehicle. And, you know, I, I remember that being the issue. Okay. So they, they submit a budget to us, we feel only pay 25%, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. that's what this number is. Correct. Yeah, and John would have that information, more details on that. Yep. He submitted this, correct? Yeah. Yep, he submitted it. Um, snow and ice in uh, tab four, it's your first item. Um, we raised that budget $5,000, and uh, mainly because in past years, uh, prior to last year, we were not um, expending in in this budget for any of his hardware like his uh, equipment edges or anything that he needs for his plows and he has since started doing that and we felt like um, the 90,000 would would we'd never be under 90,000 either so we just decided to raise that to 90 and make that a more reasonable number so that we're not requesting so much uh, on a on a any given year from uh, the reserve fund for this, or from free cash. We don't have to request anything. Well, no, but, but you know, you have the free cash, you use it before the year end rather than putting in the tax rate. <laughs> so Come the, on, Skip. So no, I prefer <laughs> to put in the tax rate. The plow upkeep is taken out of the highway budget and now is in snow and ice? It, it used to be taken out of the highway budget. It used right. to No, but he's asking if it oh, was will be. from the proposal. Correct. Well, so it was. So he's just moving four thousand dollars from one budget to another. I think I think he took it out of the highway budget last year, but he never put it into this budget. Okay. Is. When you mean take, used or the to, uh, the, the, the budget? Money. He didn't budget for Before, the equipment edges for last but year he spent in the, the highway. Money. Right. He did spend money last year for right. the exactly. Budget. Have have you have. You, you had a conversation with Kevin on this budget. Yes. And you, you both are in agreement that 90000 is? Took me a little bit to convince him, but yes. <laughs> to go up. I mean, yes. it's one of those things yeah. where. We're trying to capture real, the real budget here. Well, I know. But, but I, without, you know, because this is okay. one that you can always overspend. Right. But right. the way I see it is we're always going to overspend well, 90000 anyway. That's my point. Would it make more sense to have, and everybody here made, yell and scream if we do it have a hundred thousand well, dollars or he, 110 he, he and i did talk about a hundred thousand okay. and he said how about baby steps well the other <laughs> side of that coin is the other side of that coin is if you do have a heavy winter and it's there is a declared emergency if your number is low you get a lot more money than if you're up higher mm -hmm. okay explain that one I, I don't know how it works but 
if you have budgeted X number of dollars and there's a declared emergency, uh, said we get three feet of snow and so forth, and you've got enough to cover the snow, you don't get any money from the state back. But if you need the money, they, they have some sort of fund that it comes back. I don't know how it works. So they pay can we move this to zero? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but the, there, is, uh, there is money from uh, uh, that comes back for on that basis. And that's, the state, yeah. is, it, And I know what you're saying because it's yeah. really not the game for the reserve fund when you know it's going to be a short-funded one, but this is one of those situations that, you know, may want to okay. leave alone i mean we did we did adopt the program so that we can Declare. over overspend the yep without having to go to town meeting to to right. uh, mm -hmm. or do a reserve fund transfer or anything else and the, and the other thing is is the uh every town does that it uh you know it, it does allow for uh, mm -hmm. wet, wet snow and uh, ice removal mm -hmm. and uh you're eligible for that disaster aid as long as you have at least budgeted the same amount from as the previous year. Okay. So once you get up to a point, you don't want to cut it back because mm -hmm. then if you have a bad year, you're all done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, so it's it's kind of like, you know, as Brenda said, you know, you, you're not going to be under 90, but you don't want to end up if you end up okay. with a uh, I mean, if mild this, winter yeah. uh, where you don't use it, and then all of a sudden the following year you, you cut it back and you end up uh, uh, following yeah. year with a severe winter, you, you don't get it, you won't get any reimbursements. Did this town, there was a, a sort of a popular thing for a few years where towns were buying snow insurance. Did Deerfield ever do yes. that? Mm -hmm. I think they did, didn't they? Back no, I don't, I don't think, think we actually so. bought snow insurance. Didn't, I thought they did a couple years, years ago. And, a long time ago. Northampton did it and yeah. a few other communities. And, it's a risk, you don't know. Could and they made out for a few years, yeah. but then a lot of years they spent right. a lot of money for that insurance, so. But I don't recommend doing that. Any <laughs> further questions on snow and ice removal? No. Uh, ADA coordinator? Hmm? Are we going to establish an ADA commission? Number? Um, I have uh, that. Number is 50. 549, I actually had wanted to apply for a ADA planning grant and realized I had way too many big ideas for this year, but it's my plan for next year to do that, and it would be nice to establish that commission. They, they're asking us to do that. Right. Uh, FT5. CDBG. And, CDBG and, right. and also 549. Well, I could use 54. your support on that, I think. Because we don't even have a council on aging, which traditionally has representatives. On, on a disability commission. So. Five, four, nine. Five, four, Mass Office of Disabilities has a format for that. Yeah, we've, I've sent yeah. Peter a training. I'm following yeah. that. I was planning to apply for a planning grant. I've, um, but should this budget be, this is a, this is a, 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 a salary. This is, yes, Kevin gets that. Yeah. He's the ADA coordinator. Although he's never been Although paid for Although he doesn't take it. it, and I do a lot. He Quite does. Different hmm. people do. But so we have a commission set up things. next year. What's the number right. we're looking at? Then we'll put 549, a budget. 549, yeah. um, Which gets to another thing. that we Do we put in the grants thing yet? No. No. One of the things I'm going to be asking for is money for matching for grants. This is an example of that kind of situation for ADA planning grant or ADA implementation grant there, I believe, is a 50% match. 40 or 50. Okay. So, um, and increasingly, any grants are asked for that. I've been managing to sort of use my time for in kind as much as possible and other people's time as well. But some just require an outright cash match. And we've, we have never, or at least since I've been aware of how we've done things, um, mm -hmm. not had any money available as needed for a cash match for a grant. We'd only use it if we needed to use it. So we, we have a reserve fund. Um, it's unforeseen, though. There's no reserve fund for unexpected, unforeseen only. I don't know what the... It is. That's, that's requirements that's reserve fund transfer. You could determine and that. I, and I think um, we'd have in to order to use a reserve fund transfer, you have to have a line item in your budget for whatever it is you're going to use it for. Yeah, we don't even have a line item that says you know, grant match. More and more communities are doing it. Um, grant application. 
maybe it should not be laced, listed as match, maybe it should be grant funds. Grant funds or yeah. grant application funds. Right, because there are different costs that could be not simply match money. Right. And then we'd at least have the line item, and whether you want to leave it as reserve fund transfer, at least we have a place to transfer it into if you want to leave it that way rather than put money in as up front. I mean, if, if you wanted to stick a couple hundred bucks in something. Well, it and, wouldn't be it, a couple hundred. Well, what I'm saying <laughs> right, is if okay. you go to the point of using it and you, and you use it for two or three years and it becomes apparent that that's a – but just to have it there for one, one shot and then okay. not use it. But we make the line item, but continue to go for reserve fund transfers in the event we need yeah. money. Or, or I mean, if you if you know what you're likely to spend, then sure, put it do put it in. Know. But do not know in this environment with what's going on at the yeah. federal and state level, have no idea what there will be, if there will be, and what <coughs> if there is will have to match as opposed to okay. no matches. So I can make small projections based on state mm -hmm. um, programs. New development block grants require a ten. Ten thousand dollar match per project. You're going forward, or if you get bonus, they get bonus points. Oh. And without the bonus points, you probably won't get awarded. Going forward, or this is current. This is last year. <laughs> First time last year. Oh, didn't know. Thank you. We weren't asked to do that. We had in kind um, support from a bank for three years. Oh, good. Keep it up. <laughs> Be before we go too much for uh, street lighting. Mm -hmm. uh, the only reason I even brought it up is coming in here tonight, or maybe it was when I was coming when I drove down here earlier, there was a, a piece on the radio about Worcester having gone around this past year and all of their street lights, they changed to LEDs. Mm -hmm. Northampton City. And the reason for doing that was rather, the old way was to wait until it burned out and then put a new one in. And their argument was it's just in the long run. It's cheaper to just go around and get rid of the whatever they whatever the type of lights they are. Pressure, sodium, sodium, yeah. Uh, there's about a 40% savings according to the report, whether that's true or not. But the point was that they went around and, and, and changed them out. So we don't own these lights, it's my understanding. Right. Right. Uh, Worcester does. Worcester does. Some don't actually just receive a grant. Yeah, so there are grants. They purchase the lights and they're going to have them installed under a new different contract. That would be a good project for the planner to work with the energy committee. A after, after you get the uh, solar project straightened up. <laughs> on to the next subject. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Anything else on uh, I, oh, I, good. I was gonna say the only other thing that we had in here that I, I maybe you'd want to talk about is the OPEP funding. Um, and that's in tab eleven. Because that would be a special article. So um, I see now looking at this that when I printed it, I still showed the ten thousand dollars that you had recommended for last year in here, so that looks kind of funny at the bottom. But um, We'd plugged in a figure of 25000 for this year. It's something that Barb and, and Wendy and I had talked about. And that's even much less than I think we should be doing, but we're just very behind on funding. I'm really surprised towns much smaller than us are putting in $50,000 or a lot of money into this, and we're oh. way behind in our funding of this. So. I wouldn't mind putting more money in. I, I want to know what the basis of it is, and I've never been able to get anyone to actually explain. Well, no, don't the, don't try. Okay. I, you know. Uh, All right. Well, I can give you the actuarial study. Let them. I would like them to come down and and whoever did the actual. I want them to explain it to me. Or maybe even Tom Scanlon. He's pretty yeah. good at putting it in layman's terms. Yeah. Well, I've talked to Tom about it a couple of years back, and I said, I, you know, the numbers that that are being thrown out by the whoever it is that's doing them. He and he said, yeah, they're they're over the top. Inflated a little bit. Yeah. Right. So it would be nice if they would explain how they go about it. And I, Wendy and I had the conversation. And if, if you look Barbara? at, uh, excuse me. me, Brenda and I had the conversation. Oh, it wasn't you that I was talking. It was Brenda. Okay. 
Uh, Barb, Brenda. I, t Brenda. I talk with both of you so much back and forth that it's like, you know, I can't keep That's okay. Brendy. We'll go by Brendy. That's <laughs> right. Brendy did it. Wanda. I like uh, Brendy. Yeah, I do when you when you reach that point where and, and again if it's we're not talking about a family we're talking about uh, an individual or husband and wife uh, that are on Social Security we have what what does the town pay for Social Security when when, when so for example. Does the town pay any of your insurance, yours and so if you don't mind me asking. Uh, For my health insurance? You pay fifty yeah. percent yeah, on retirees' health I'm insurance. I'm retired. If you choose 50%. to participate. And so supplemental that, point. But that's just the supplemental. Yeah. yeah. Right. So if that is and that runs what, about three hundred bucks? A month per 350, person? I think, a yeah. month, something yeah. like that. For both her and Stan. For both? Right. Mm -hmm. We have spousal here. Yeah, no, I, I mean you that's choose fine. to it, do it or that's, not. That's that's also HIPAA or confidential information. So. But Mary's the payment we're making to Mary is in the current budget, right? What's that? Uh, yes. 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 Right. Yes. So by funding by funding the OPEB we should and Mary, it we're doubling it. Well, the point is we're not taking it out of the OPEB. Okay. We Either way, but we're trying to build, we we build, build we up. So we're budgeting we it twice. With my OPEB, you're you're. You're building. funding your future liability, which will just grow exponentially. But Basically. as that happens, it'll be a line item in the budget. Yeah. Ultimate, ultimately, when we get to the point where we have enough money in the OPEB account, we will stop the retiree portion of the... That's a line item in the budget? The yes, that would... But that's a long way that's, from happening. Yeah, 40 years out. But my, <laughs> my point is that if, we, if we're paying... If it's, if it's $5,000 a year for... Two people for health insurance, and it's split. Tom pays fifty percent. The individuals pay twenty five hundred dollars. If they retire at age sixty five, and that's when Medicare kicks in. But from sixty five to ninety five for thirty years, you got a total of seventy five thousand dollars for family. And and it's not that you need to put seventy five thousand, probably fifteen thousand, with earnings on top of it over a thirty year period would be adequate to cover. So you know, that's why I want to see that. Yeah, we have a actuary. You know, come in and explain it to me how how and how you get to that because they need to do it on an individual basis. And right. They came in once and did, did a nice presentation yeah, for us. About three years ago. Well, was it, you were there. Yeah. I was there and I wasn't impressed. Okay. Um, Part of it is, is that's federally prescribed. You know, we have to, we're supposed to meet this. And, and the consequences of a, not doing it are... It's a county rules. It, it it's, 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 it's accounting it's, rules. It's just government accounting standards right. Right. is what's doing Right. And but banks all it affects is the your, rate on the bond. I'm sorry? Yes. All it really affects is the bond rate. And if you were to look at our, our audited financial statements, it's, it's reflected there as... Right. As because, yeah. no, right. because of the economy. I, right. I believe Barb said that if we needed the funding, yes. for, we can use it. Yeah. Yes. Right. The other thing. Yes. Yes. She's, we can use it if we needed to yeah. pay for yeah. retiree health insurance. Are we going to look at a, a firm to manage this fund? You mean trustees? Yes. Uh, well, we I did. Believe, at the town I believe meeting, was, Barb is the trustee. Right. I think it was voted that Barb was the trustee. Okay. So in other words, like Sunderland has hired a firm to take their OPED account and invest we, it? We should ask her what she is doing. I, Maybe you know I don't I, Yeah. I, I believe she's going to work with Bartholomew, who has okay. some of our other they're investments, fine. and they're pretty good to work yeah. with. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank then you. who did the study? Oh, I can't remember. Out um, of Bartholomew. Yeah, I can't remember who did the study. Okay. I mean, we also we also have uh, the situation with uh, retirement oh. that I that eighteen percent that we're kicking in, and I don't know how long that's going to last. But that's but, not related to open. Pardon? It's not related to this. It it is a it's a fund that we pay into for. Oh, you're talking about retirement. Yeah. You're talking retirement. about the retirement, Franklin yeah. retirement. Yeah, that's completely, uh, completely different. It's it's an awful figure too. 
It is very high. Yeah, very high. It's, but they are managing that figure, not the town. Correct. No. Correct. Mary is. What's that? <laughs> the retirement board is managing that right. figure. Yes. 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 Not the town. They've given up. I have right. to tell I think, you, I think, you know, I, know I, I have to tell you that oh, um, Franklin Regional Retirement is seventh in the state as for income. Yeah. I mean, I, and aren't, they, it beautifully. aren't, yeah, no, aren't yeah, our aren't our yeah. huh? I agree a hundred percent. I think that's mm -hmm. where it should be. And that's where I think the OPEC money should be made the same way. Yeah. And, and I, and I there's not enough in there right now unless like well, they could have a, a joint for a county, for example, have all the you know, the towns joined together for OPEC. They have their own problems with it. I, I was at their meeting the other night. They um it's a whole long story with FERCOG and the counties, and yeah. and they were never assessed for re for retirement all these years. Yeah. And so to be proactive, FERCOG is at least putting money aside because they're just waiting for the state to say to all the regional planning agencies, okay, this is what you owe us. Yeah. Yeah. So that, I don't think they would want to get into the business of of, of any of this. So. Uh, Green, Greenfield is not part of the county. No, they have their own so. system, and I believe Montague has their own system. Montague so. has their own too. Yep, they do. Oh, okay. So basically, half the county is not in the county retirement system. The two largest towns. I don't know where Athol fits. Where I Athol think a third of the county. In Franklin County or in Worcester? I know, county. probably half in terms of employees, not in terms of population, but employees, probably, yeah. yes. Yeah. Okay. What's next? Month what other horse it's... can we beat to death? What's that? I, I think we're done with the budgets, right? No. I, oh, okay. Are we gonna, do you want to talk about police department or are you waiting for something else? Yeah. Oh, I guess I didn't see if you, anything. If you have a question on it, yeah. Police and the highways coming into What's the number, John? Uh, select board they, on the 27th. They, they will be in the, we'll have them come in. Do you want to wait? No. They're if coming in. Go ahead and ask. The 210 5400 is the number. Uh huh. He's got cruiser repair 9,000 up from 3,000. Yeah, he is spending a lot more money fixing his cars than what he budgeted in the previous years. Let me tell you, I, I can vouch for that. It's, it's a, so I think he he's, he's just trying to get it to be a better figure. What's that? But he still gets a new car every year? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, they use them it a lot. Might be the, it might be the car that we're purchasing. Pardon? It might be that there's a problem with the car we're purchasing. The, the uh, diesel Repair exhausting? That's now it's more than that. Well, well, the, we there was some we'll recall for all new cars. Yeah, we yeah. didn't have any. Yeah. Didn't have any. Didn't have any that's that's like the old Carl and Vicks. They didn't have that many altogether. Right. And you got nine thousand. With the exhaust. That's one hundred dollars. That's right. With the, yeah. with the, with the SUVs. Yeah. The right. highway and police will be at the select board meeting on the twenty seventh to talk about their budgets. If you want to be there in December. Yep, December twenty seventh. Unless they change, but that's the that was the plan that the board wanted, and I Great. told the two departments about. So December twenty seventh. Yeah. And we'll, we'll ask. But stay John in touch and Kevin with to them. And talk with us too. Mm -hmm. They've already volunteered. It only took a little arm twisting. Any other questions on the budget that you have? If there are none, uh, monthly expenditure report. I got a lot of questions. <laughs> I couldn't hear her, so I'm leaning I'm over. Go like this. <laughs> I'm just, I'm always sex. I'm thinking ahead so much because I have a lot to do. 
Right. Sideboard tower. Need Question. more stickies? What? This is my new thing. It's working. Yeah. What? Stickies. Okay. There's a line on it for stickies in this. Fire room. away. <laughs> Fire away. Who's got questions? I do. I'll start. Okay. The reserve fund, 90000 132 The money hasn't been spent for it. That we were going to use that for the canine control, right? right. No, this 90000 is your reserve fund. So that's for all the, all the transfer requests. What are we looking at? But didn't the, we make a request? We yeah, we yeah. did. We, we voted. We voted. Yeah, yeah, I just have not seen it. Nobody got it to me. Right. And I think that's kind of important yeah. to be able to reflect it in the general ledger. Really? <laughs> I don't know. In other words, it has to be signed. Yeah. It's waiting for oh, me. Oh, all right. He's done. Oh. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I and it actually never gets spent out of here. It gets moved to the budget. Okay. That it, yeah. yeah. Thanks. Um, Should we do a new form? I, I'm if gonna, we need to. No, uh, we don't need to. I'll just write the votes down um, from your minutes uh, when I get John's new copy. Okay. Yeah. South well, County someplace EMS. I, I'll have to come in and sign it then somewhere along the way. Whatever. Oh, okay. Has South County EMS enough. paid the town for the administration? So, you're supposed to get every year. So I, I charge them for that on a quarterly basis, just like I, I record our expense to them on a quarterly basis. So what you're seeing here is a reflection of what our uh, contribution is to their operations for the first two quarters. No, I understand that, but that made me think about so oh, we right. get the money. That yes, we're so at to the get same time that I make that journal entry, so I do the other journal entry to pay us back. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, do me a favor. What uh, what page are you on? Well, it's not related to okay. expenditures. Uh, it would have been on, it would have been on page four um, for the for mm -hmm. the uh, the ex assessment of their uh, for their operations. Anybody know what's going on? Uh, Three ten fifty four hundred. The regional school general expenses. Wait a uh, Eleven months. No, but five Page months four. of the year through November would be 44 percent. They spent 51 percent. So we we pay them quarterly, and what okay. happens is the it's it's a it's a quarterly charge, but the very last payment of the year we actually break out the amount that goes to Frontier Transportation. So in the end, it all washes out. It's no, that didn't answer my question. What's 820? <laughs> The 50 on page 7, the state assessment and charges. Um, Don't. 820. So that would be your cherry sheet charges that come directly from the state. Okay. Yep. All right. So you're bo you book the revenue in total. Not we we haven't, I haven't booked any revenues yet, and I haven't booked that expenditure yet because the recap needs to be completed before I do that. So at the end of the week, I should be able to to but, but finish you, this. You, you will book the total. Correct. Not yeah. the net amount. Yeah. At the end of the week, we hope to have the. We're planning to have the tax rate hearing tomorrow night. Right. So we can get the bills. Uh, out. All the districts are all set. That's you saw one of them in there tonight. And yeah. I a, don't I know two to, tomorrow night okay. plus uh, select board. <laughs> yeah. Hook or crook. <laughs> <laughs> No crook, just a hook. <laughs> I have pay date, um, 9, 10, employee benefits. Oops. It's $10,000. So that is um, the unfunded vacation um, um, reserve, the liability that, like, for. Someone retires. Or so, yeah. so we had somebody uh, leave the police department and. Um, John had already spent enough to cover his hours while he was not working, so we ended up using this reserve for that. Okay. The is, same. That, is that the same with unemployment, 913, we just less because most people claim? Um, the unemployment, uh, we just haven't had too many uh, claims yet this year. The retirement contribution, we spent the whole budgeted amount. Correct. If we pay, if we pay on July 1st, we get a discount. Uh, it's a sizable discount. So okay. we, we always pay it up front. The, uh, back on the employee benefits, that's listed as a capital expense, is that? 
I, it's just the way this report okay. shows, uh, right. shows it. And I'm sorry. It's, it's because no, it's 5,800 instead of a 5,400 number. I should probably just change that, and then it won't show up that way. Yeah, we've but got the, it's kind of a complicated under, process. Under celebrations, too. Yes, yeah. yes, I know. Okay. Shouldn't celebrations and retirement go together? Should <laughs> 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 <Sure, laughs> right. good. Right. Uh, recreation at 6:30 activities. So 6:30 is um, the uh, swim program is the 5400 and remember we had we had split that up it was really going to it was like a a $10,000 expense but 4000 of it we were going to charge to the general fund and the rest of it was going against their revolving fund but just the percentage was high but 4000 is all spent the general expenses correct and then um, and then the 5410 is the tri town beach and you know that covers July through <coughs> August, so um, and so then all he's all he'll have in the spring wait, wait, is. Well, I have fifty-seven twenty-one. Oh, fifty-four um, hundred. Oh, fifty-four hundred. Yeah, fifty-four hundred is the one expense account for the swim program, and fifty-four yeah, okay. ten is Tri Town Beach. Um, so he won't have much to spend at the beginning of the year. It'll be opening things up and getting things set and yep. maybe um, mowing one, one, one or two times, okay. that kind That's of thing. Fine. I forgot that. Their expenses are just high, but mostly because, because most of, the, of those programs happen. Right, right. Yep. Just because of the way the year falls in the summer, yep. you know. Okay. Okay. What's what's the number on that? Um, six thirty. Page six. Yep. No, we're not the lead agency on that, are we? No, we are not. Not on the Tri Town Beach. On the swim program, that's all ours. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So the library, um, six six ten. Mm -hmm. The capital expenditures fifty eight hundred. Oh. <laughs> Um, uh, are they going to spend the money? You know what? That includes probably several things. Um, I'm not sure because some of it was carried forward from last year, yeah, and, I and I don't remember what it was. Um, but I think they were hesitating because if if they go forward with the bigger project, they right. didn't want to do the smaller thing. Was it for air AC. conditioning? Well, I think it was air conditioning. Split AC. Yeah. Split yeah. yeah. System. Right. <laughs> Carpeting, I think they did. They did do the carpeting. No, the carpeting was done in the senior center. Was it done in the, in the library? basement? Uh, children's book. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I can't remember. But we should look at that with a new budget. Because if they're carrying that much money in capital. They were asked. I, I believe that. It was voted, if I recall, it was voted by the Capital Improvements Committee to authorize the library to spend it, but then when the talk about having the library expansion come out, yeah. uh, Carolyn asked them to hold off on spending it. Right. And they right. just brought it up to me again. And um, I, and after much conversation, we decided to also wait. So it's being carried forward in case they, you know, use it, but okay. they did not put, they're not so planning to put it. So we'll see zero on the new budget would be zero dollars for capital. Capital well, at least well, not for that. For that, I think there's. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, there's something, something else. Yeah, there is something. <laughs> wow. For design. For design. Yeah. yeah. Just, just a small amount. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I know it's design costs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it doesn't get them any further into the program. They'll be at. They will be at the uh, CIPC meeting on Monday night talking about that. <clears throat> um, Say that again. The, their their request. They're going to be the main, uh, the star of the show on, on Monday night at the capital planning meeting. They want more money to have better set, better design plans, so that they think it will help them in the next round. Um, but this is pretty well sitting in a position where it's two or three years out. So my feeling is design plans at this point are all well and fine, but. Yeah, I, I think they're hoping that in 2020, yep. I believe it was 2020, they were hoping for the, the grant. 
Right. But that funds them. They're, that also funds the, the design portion of the right. project. Right. They'll explain why they, they need to get the go ahead, you know, move, be ready to go. All right. Anybody have any other questions for me on the expenses? Or the revenues or the, um, the other funds? Looks like police re revolving fund on the um, fund balance sheet. Fund yeah, it's it'll it will always be negative, negative because the when they do a detail, we pay them immediately, yeah. and then we send out an invoice to get reimbursed. Right. Um, I shouldn't say it'll always be negative right. because there's twenty thousand dollars seed money in there, but most most of the time it's negative. Which. Which one? That's um, 221. 221 on that on um, that first page of the fund balance uh, report. 278, the roadside mower fund was that the? It's all set. Grant. Yeah. It's the lease and yeah. the repayment, and we're going. Yep. And, and the happening. towns have con made their contributions for maintenance. Yes. That's most of them. I'm most of them. I shouldn't. I shouldn't say all of them okay. have. I think four of the. Five or six okay. have so far. Yeah. Then the um, EOEA grants, we show a negative 13000 Yeah, so what happens with that is that's the formula grant. And yeah. so the formula grant, just, just for simplicity purposes, is always applied towards the director's salary. Elder so affairs. I just bill the director's right. salary to that account until we get the money, and we should be receiving that any day. Um, at, least, at least by January we should have it. Is that why the... Um, School roof is so high. Is that what in this? Oh, um, next one. School uh, 704. You have a negative $814,000. That's a negative $814. 14000 um, Yeah, 814000 Um Oh, how do I explain that? <laughs> um, it's, uh, yeah. Very carefully. Um, um, because that was money spent that we needed to borrow for that we, I mean, we have I a temporary it. loan on it. Right. It'll probably always look like that until we're done because I, I believe Barbara's intent and I, and I hope everybody would agree that we're probably not going to bond it. It'll cost too funding. much to bond it. Um, in the end, we will have spent a net of 758000 um, that we need to borrow for. Okay. And so we'll, I think over five, eight years, we what, should have that taken care of. What did we of. put in the budget this year for? We put, we put 100000 in for the, for the reduction sure, sure. in debt on that mm -hmm. one. Yeah. Okay. Plus interest, whatever the interest was. It seems it, to interest was 18750 yeah. You know, when we met in October, actually we met, well, well, it was August. I think it was August. No, well, I wasn't here. Um, maybe it was July. We had talked about reviewing all these funds, and we never did it. I, I am putting together a spreadsheet, and I am down to the 400s. Good job. <laughs> Trying to research what these are, when yeah. they started, who's, who's responsible for them, and I'm hoping that I can present that to you sometime, maybe early, in, maybe during the middle of the winter, but I'm, I'm still working on it. I mean, uh, it's not a priority, but it, it would certainly be a benefit to know exactly. if some of this money could be moved. But yes, she's working on it. I know a couple of you have come in, and she's. Um, it takes a lot of time, and a couple of folks have asked more than once. So, if you would be so patient, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, we can we continue. Question? I mean, it's just kind of an ongoing process because yeah. I don't know, you know, most of the history. I don't know. Yeah. I can go by what Janet tells me, or what the department head tells me, or you know, yeah, I, I and or what my general ledger. Escrow account. If you want to know about that one. Well, I think I think. Um, Bruce found some information on that, but you've got no, some he's other... he's talking Mill... Mill Village. Mill Village. Yeah, Mill Village. Mill Village Road oh. Development Escrow Account. You're talking about that one? Yeah. Oh, you said Mill River. So, oh, Mill so, River. so let's talk... <coughs> could you stop by and talk to me? Because yeah. I've got some information from Bruce St. Peter's here. We might be, we might be talking to... Is it the same Same one? one? Uh, yeah. That's Russ the... Evans. The, yeah, the Rush that's, Escrow that's Account the for septic system. systems. For right? septic systems. Yeah. 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 So they have a homeowners association. Somehow we end up with the money. And that somehow or another, we, we, we need to take care of whatever it is that we need to do. But yeah. 
Yeah, if we get to the point where that's not our money, we need to get rid of it. Yeah. I think that's why it's sitting in an agency fund because it wasn't yeah. supposed to be ours in the first place, but why it's still there. Well, it was to protect uh, the fact that they had trouble with the sewer. Yeah. Right. right. Um, and they have had to fix things over there multiple times. I think it was to cover failed, failed systems, and yeah. there had been quite a few failures over there. The 26 wouldn't even make a dent in it, but... Nope. I think that's what it was. Uh, uh, that's what it was intended they, for. Yeah. They can put it in their, the, the homeowners association can put it in their reserve fund. Yeah. Yeah. So I look at the, you said you didn't book revenue yet? Uh, right. I did not book the estimated revenues because that always comes after we um, okay. do the recap. That's why permits are so low. Um, actually, actually, this is just this is just uh, this is what we've received in revenues so far, um, and it's compared to last year. But I, I think when when this report compares it to last year, it's comparing to the entire year I'm and not correct. yeah. But we're four months, five months into the year, and permits we had five hundred thirty-seven thousand. Five hundred thirty-eight thousand dollars, and in the four months we've taken in ninety-two thousand. Yeah, you're. Oh, There's some huge projects last year. I understand, yeah. but right. that money has been used to pay a lot of the salaries, and we're we going to be looking at increases in our total budget because this is so low. Which what are you, which are you talking about? In talking this? about um, the revenue sheet. Um, yeah. I'm looking at forty-four fifty permits. Yeah. That we're at five hundred thousand dollars last year in twelve months, and four months we have a hundred thousand this year. Uh, do, do we actually we're pay only, anything out of the? Uh, we're we're only paying the plumber and the electrician when they do the jobs. Yeah. Um, we did take in quite a bit of money last year, and and probably quite a bit more than what we spent. Right. Um, this year it might be the other way around. I think it might be the other way around, mm -hmm. too. Yeah, we, very well. All could that be. money went to free cash. That's why maybe mm -hmm. right. our free cash is so much. One of the reasons. It's one of the reasons. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a little concerned on uh, other fees, 4240, the last page. Dump stickers were about 50%. What do you say? So, so dump, dump stickers, we sell quite a few dump stickers in, um, we usually get those around the end of May, and we sell a, the majority of them between the end of May and the end okay, of June. So this is mostly the next, this will be coming up. The so, so the ones that we've sold so far this year yeah. were ones that started July 1st. Right. So some people waited to buy theirs until July 1st. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. Same way with the trash bags. Trash bags just kind of hit and miss, you know. Yeah. It's, um, some people buy them ahead of time, some yeah. people don't. Right. I, um, yeah. Just that, almost like we have to do some projections on revenue. Wouldn't that be our responsibility? I think um, I think we did we did something. We did that early on. I, I've done I've I've made a couple of small adjustments to it, but yeah. Okay. All right, anything else? Yeah, free cash certification. Okay, so what do you want to talk about? How much money did we get? Um, so oh, the last time we talked, I thought we had that figure. Um, no, we were uncertain. We, we, you had a number, they had a number. I can make a copy. So I, I, I have a number <laughs> with a caveat. Say the caveat you had last well, the time. caveat is I have to admit that I made a mistake. Oh. So, so we have a free cash number of a million nine twenty four two ninety, but it really should have been a million eight twenty four two ninety. But who's counting? That was good on top. Because um, I missed it, and Terry Williams didn't catch it either, and the auditors never caught it until Tom Scanlon said, well, after the fact, wait a minute, what happened to the overlay reserve? <laughs> Because they had released overlay and it was being used for the omnibus budget for fiscal 18, and I forgot to reserve it. So it really should be a million eight twenty-four. 
We won't spend more than a million eight twenty four. Um, I did a simple calculation. So we, we left 600000 on the table at the end of the year last year. Yeah. So we started with 600000 Excess revenues over estimated were $756,000. Um, then we had um, unencumbered balances, so basically money not spent in the, in the, um, on the expenditure side of 423000 And then the rest of it was... Um, the difference in tax receivables between one year and the, and the next and negative balances because negative balances are, are taken off of our free cash. So between one year and the other year, we had a difference in negative balances of, I think, 60-some thousand. So that's, but that's kind of it, that, that's it in a nutshell. Is that something you can email the Finance Committee? Your um, summary? Your breakdown? Oh, I, yeah, or I could just make a copy of it for you real quick. You want to, or you would rather have it by email? No, copy would be fine. I'd like one too. You keep talking. I'll yeah. Make a copy oh, okay. For so seven copies, and I'll stick one in charge. Um, mm -hmm. So isn't it one point eight? Yeah. Well, it should have been one point eight, but this is what was actually certified was a million yes, nine. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's it's the and and I have Badger. Uh, friend on the uh, the 400, not the number 400, but the 420,000. Uh, those are essentially unspent town of Deerfield budget items, yeah. and it's the budget items from non-school budget items, uh, and it represents, give or take, about 10 percent of the budget. And uh, I know Brenda said, well, let's not beat up too badly on departments. And I said, no, I don't, it's not that I want to get rid of the, the entire 10%. I mean, this, it's, it is a budget, and budgets are not perfect. But 10%, frankly, is a ridiculous number for me, at least. I mean, so, is half that something that's reasonable? Yeah, I, you know, that, that would be more... And would and that it, be a conservative it, number? Even um, even if it even if it took us a couple of years to get there, right. it would be nice. But is it is it important that we know that we uh, we have this excess money? But is it important that we know where it comes from? Well, yeah, I think so. Thank you. And I, I think too. that's what we. I do too. I think it's important that we know where the excess yeah. money is. But see, the, to me, it means that we're not doing something that mm -hmm. we thought they budgeted for. Yeah. I saved it. Yeah. Or are they over budgeting yeah. the line? Well, it's either, either over budgeting or it's, it's antici Reading anticipation of doing something and then not doing it. Exactly. I guess that's the. I agree. Yeah. So if there's some way that we could. I mean, some of that we're not going to catch. But you know. Nice. Uh, and and I don't and I don't want to get to okay. the to the point where departments say, well, to hell with it, you know. Right. We're going to be that way. I'm going to it come June. You watch the spending. spending. No, exactly. <laughs> That's what happens with the schools. Yeah. Yeah. Except they're smart. They they do it off over the whole year, so you can't catch them. No, actually, you do the <laughs> remainder at the end of the year to do school repairs. Well, if you know, years ago we used to do that, they're not. They don't appear to be doing that. We we were talking about doing school repairs uh, using you know if you had a hundred thousand dollars left over the budget then it, but I can remember Al Lottie who was a superintendent from the mid seventies to the mid eighties uh, did make a concerted effort to keep the budget you know to to keep spending. Down so that there was there were funds available to make repairs uh, as they came up, and not have to go back to the towns and say, "Hey, look, we've got a boiler that uh, we need to spend ten thousand dollars on." Well, I think it's the opposite. They end up with a hundred thousand dollars at the end of the year, and then they have a wish list of needed repairs, and they prioritize those, and they do what they can, but the other ones don't get done. That's what I think happens. I Listening think to several of the school committee meetings, I agree, gonna, when they talk about the the, the, balancing out the end of the yes. year budgets, yep. they 
they uh, and come and do take money in, the, in July and, and spend in August, September. You're more well, some of that's legitimate. For example, TV. salaries. Mm -hmm. uh, I know that. So far. But but they, the extra money that's in the budget. Well, if they've contracted mm -hmm. for it. Right. They can, they, have, they can do it. It's not an yeah. issue that they, yeah. but that's all. Of course, we, we've, uh, speaking of school committees, we've typically had vacancies on school committees that we've gone to town meeting or to have elections on and it's been right in. So if there's somebody that wants to run for school committee, they should take a look and uh, take nomination papers out. Are you going to go through these other items? Yes. <laughs> yes. I'll just say that um, the select board was asked by school administrators to appoint someone to serve on that building committee. And they'll be like, just letting you know. They're hope, hopefully will. They have not identified anyone to me, so I'm unaware if the board is going to appoint someone tomorrow night. But they, the school asked for that appointment by um, I think December eighth. Yeah. So. Well, so we're, let's see. By Friday is what you're saying. Yeah. Like so we're at the discussion of salary compensation. Uh, let's see. Item five. Yeah, we skipped yeah. over it for the free cash. Sorry. <laughs> I, yeah, so, I were leaving. It's more exciting. <laughs> <laughs> you heard I was leaving? The, uh, <laughs> the, the personnel committee voted to take the salary schedule that we have and add a 2% COLA to it. But Mary talked about the Oh, you want me to? <laughs> yeah. You... Um, we took the schedule after all the work we put into getting the grades and this. Um, we felt they were adequate. Um, and the, the schedule will be the cost of living this year is 2%. Add the 2% to the, to to the schedule nope. and keep it up to date. Like we didn't do the 2009 one. We never added cost of living to it. And that's why it made it so difficult when we were hiring people because we had to hire them at step six, seven, eight, whatever. Um, right now, our recommendation is to keep everyone at the same step at 2% increase and then start working on evaluations and not doing any increases unless an evaluation is done and sent to the uh, selectmen and um, Wendy will be doing the department heads. So that's our recommendation anyway, the way we feel it should be done. But um, we don't feel that we're in a position right now to do evaluations properly. And that's where we're hanging out right now. So. Okay. Oh. Any questions? questions? So that's the recommendation they're making. Yep. I'm bringing, going to bring that to the board tomorrow night. Yeah. So the um, recommendation would be to basically there'd be no step increases. Yep. It'd just be simply 2% across the board yes. for this coming year. To yeah. keep the plan up to date so we don't have to redo a plan every Right, no. I, I, well, I Cola is, yeah, I think COLA makes sense. And a step is should be done by evaluation. By evaluation, yeah, we right. Well, this is a purview of the select board and the, finance and the personnel board, but... We can make a recommendation. Yeah. Now, let me, let, me, let me ask another question. After this year, if you have a uh, evaluation instrument in place, that means that they would be... Uh, they would be able to qualify for a step increase plus a 2% or well, cola. What, cola whatever the cola so you could be so after this year future years down the road you could be looking at uh, people basically getting about a five to six percent raise every year well, we figured out that they were getting 80 cents a year for every step or 90 cents last, the last in the old plan in the old plan cents. they were getting mm -hmm. 90 cents um, so it we feel by adding the 2% this year, mm -hmm. we're comfortable with keeping the schedule the way it was. Mm -hmm. But we don't feel that people should be given a step unless they're evaluated and not just doing their job, but doing their job well. Mm -hmm. And 
that's where yeah. the problem is. <laughs> yeah, that is, that is where the problem well, is. Well, we're, we're yeah. concerned about right. the people who go above and beyond and how do they get credit for being above and beyond? Mm -hmm. And do we automatically give everybody a step? And that's where we're at right now. And that is the concern when you're dealing with a small town yeah. in small numbers, it's, it's pretty difficult whoever is put in that position to do those evaluations not, not to give the step. That's right. It's, uh, it's almost impossible. I, I, you know, myself, and we obviously don't have, have probably the finances, but it's almost like you need a third party to do the evaluations of, of all your town employees. And you have one person that has an evaluation instrument, so there's consistency, consistency throughout all the departments. And uh, otherwise, and I'm not saying, because, you know, we have good people, there's no question about it, but you, ha you could have some inconsistencies using that evaluation tool, you know, depending on the criteria and so on and so forth. And I'm just wondering if the town's setting itself up for a potential lawsuit. If I was working, if I was working, and I thought I was doing a darn good job, and I had coworkers next to me, and all of a sudden those coworkers got that step increase plus the two percent, and I didn't get a step increase, I only got the two percent. Guess what? I'd be knocking on doors because I'd want to know why. And if you didn't have that evaluation tool spelled out very clearly, even if you do, you could face you could face some issues. So that that would be my concern. Or, or, you know, I and guess we is, have to be, our issue. Right, be very, very, very careful on how we're going to do this. That, well, I agree, and mm -hmm. I know you do. Um, but if that's the direction I've been sort of directed, um, that's why I want to have this training. Right. It's something uh, for uh, department heads. Yeah, oh, definitely. I, um, I agree. How to use definitely the, the need. evaluation performance management tool right. um, and how to supervise. Yeah. No. The, uh, I'll throw one thing out before. Yeah, okay. uh, You know, if you look at the salary schedule, and you know, I've heard the, the argument that we're giving 7% raises. Yeah. Uh, and, but no one has said that. The salary at, the, at the, the really the top salary, that top step, is inappropriate. It's too high. If you said it's too high, then I can understand. But in the year plus, the, or the, basically the year that we've had the salaries, this current salary schedule, no one has said that people at the top step are being overpaid. And in comparison to what? It, no, in comparison to their job. Or in comparison to other towns or? Wh whatever you know, it is you want to compare. So, right. so let's, let's just arbitrarily, we take a stop, a top step, and I'm going to use $60,000 because I can quickly figure out what the, the other steps are. Mm -hmm. So the lowest step would be at 40000 And over that 10-year period, they're going to work up to 60000 So... Is that job worth sixty thousand? If it's not, then I think you've got a legitimate argument that the people working up there are being overpaid. But if you think that at some point in time, ten years down the road, that forget inflation for the moment, mm -hmm. that a person with ten years experience, I guess put it that way, would be properly paid that sixty thousand dollars. Then frankly, why the hell are you arguing about those step increases that got there? They should have been paid sixty thousand dollars ten years ago to start, and we don't. So, is that sixty thousand dollars too much? That's the you know, and, and that's really, as far as I'm concerned, the only argument that you know I can I can understand or I can appreciate. You know, if if in fact sixty thousand is fine, then the employees should be coming in and arguing. Look, if I'm worth sixty thousand dollars, pay me sixty thousand dollars. 
The problem is... But they're not coming in. My industry, we don't have any okay. turnover, do we? Do we have much turnover? Well, sure, we, we have don't turnover. have much. I mean, sure, I think we, did, some. We, we did a few years, I mean, three, four years ago. So we they're had happy with what they're getting. Yeah. Everybody retired. They didn't... Well, right. no, if, they're not, if they're not leaving... Well, are they, they happy be. with what they're... Or they're happy with what they're going to get? The whole package, the uh, benefits, the wage. Yes. He was and, first. And, and, yeah, Bruce, you were first. I, uh, I, I just think that um, in 10 years, somebody, use your example, $40,000. If they just sit there and don't, they're not, they do the job for what the job title says, and they don't do anything more, they're automatically going to get $8,000 increase in salary in 10 years. 20,000 acres. If they start at 40, they're going to go up 20. Well, they're going to get a 20% raise, 2% coal every year. Yes. Yeah, okay. Just staying at step one, they're going to be, they're going to be at $48,000 by just coming in, doing the job, going home. They're automatically going to get an $8,000 right. raise in 10 years. Is that enough? Well, is that, it, is that I, meet the step one? The, now, person, the, the person who's sitting at the top step. Top will get $12,000. Well, well, the person who's sitting at the top step. That's all they get. Is getting $60,000. Are they overpaid? According to our survey. Are they underpaid no. at 40? Right. If they're, if they're not overpaid at 60, then they're necessarily underpaid at 40. Right. Other than the fact that they don't have experience. Those 10 years, is that 10 years that they get the experience to get there, is that worth $20,000? I don't know. If, they, if they're doing the job at 40 and they're there and Nothing changes. before 10 years, they, they know how to do what they need to do. Right. So are they going to be, what, what, what aren't they doing in the, the first year that they should be doing in the 10th year? What are they doing in the tenth year to deserve the sixty thousand dollars? Nothing. Nothing. Then you're telling me that they're overpaid. At sixty. At yeah. sixty. Yes. Yeah. You're telling me that everyone who's sitting at the top step is overpaid. If the forty is correct. I'm take take the whole salary schedule. If you're telling me that they're that the top step, if you're telling me that the bottom step is adequate, then you're telling me that they're overpaid at the top step. That's correct. That's my that's my feeling. Mayor? Sure. Absolutely. You know, you can talk all you want about forty thousand, sixty thousand, eighty thousand. It still comes down to the value of the dollar. Okay. The problem is is this two percent coal and so forth. It's not giving them a raise. It's just that the value of the dollar has decreased mm -hmm. where it takes more to buy. Okay, so you're missing the whole point whether it's three percent, ten percent, whatever. Right now we're in a low uh, uh, inflation period. You go back in the uh, what was it, the seventies and eighties when you had fourteen, early eighties, early eighties yeah. when you had ten, twelve, fourteen percent inflation. You know what? Would you even consider giving somebody a two percent? And that's why this two percent stuff is an invalid number. It's something that needs to be looked at every year and compared, and it's not that people are really, truly getting raises unless you're giving them a step. But all you're doing is keeping up with the devaluation of the dollar. You're not really putting them farther mm -hmm. ahead in society. That's right. So, you know, it, it's, it's becomes, there's two valid, there's two parallel arguments here. Both of them have their valid points. Both of them are, have their invalid points. Part of it being is you're not giving raise. You're, you're, you're keeping up with the loss of the value of the dollar. Cost of living. Call it. Cost of living, however you want to put it, but it still amounts to loss of value of the, of the dollar. You're making up for it. Right. Making them come out even. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right. So, you know, so, and, that's, and that's the problem is... is you know, two percent is uh, it works out fine this year, and even then, I I have my issues with that because, you know, two percent of sixty dollars is one thing, two percent of twenty dollars is something else. So you over time, if you say there's a ten dollar difference in these two jobs right now, over time you end up with a twenty dollar difference between <laughs> the two jobs, even though their jobs 
description has run a parallel course. Mm -hmm. Okay, so no matter what you do, you're going to have to keep reviewing it because there's an in inequality that comes about every year. And, and every year we need to make a, whatever you're getting paid, there needs to be a cost of living allowance. Based on, based on the devaluation yeah. of the dollar. Yeah. And this year the 2%, I think, if I remember correctly, was essentially what Social Security is. It's anticipated that Social right. Security will increase. Right. And that cost of living is kind of a fa fallacy anyway because... Mm -hmm. uh, you know that cost of living um, from one area to the other is is you know some places get away with half a percent, other places that co you know it, or, or, to be even you're going to need six or seven percent you know? or, so, or between people. I mean, my cost of living increase is probably different than you know so it, mine or here, mine or yeah. somebody else that's where it got a family or whatever. Sure. I mean, you know, so so no matter what you do, uh, you're pulling straws out of a hat and trying to put together a package. But uh, as far as somebody being worth something or not worth something, that's where you come into, as Jeff said. I don't know how you're going to do it in a small town other than if you hire a third party that, you that's know, and, and you end up with the, you know, the, the sad part of that situation is you bring somebody into town that, does, that has no idea what the town of Deerfield is. Exactly. The, the, the pros are you bring somebody into town that doesn't know what the town of Deerfield is. Mm -hmm. You know, so you're, you're caught... Uh, no matter which way you go, it's it's. But that's the only fair way it's going to be done on a valuation basis. Is you have to have somebody that is totally independent. And well, the problem there is that they don't know how well a person did their job. That's well, right. that's you know there again, these professionals, HR people, uh, can develop a an evaluation program, and they can read between the lines. They are professional people. Well, I don't so, know. I you know I worked at a large enough institution that had a pretty decent HR department and uh, the expectation was that the department had to evaluate uh, those who worked in their departments and and we all realized that you know I mean we did a the evaluation the one through five number system and you know I took the, ta the the position that in order to get a five you basically needed to walk on water mm -hmm. uh, and there were other people who got fives all the way along the way. And the unfortunate part was that your salary increase raise, whatever you want to call it, was in part or in large measure based on what your, your overall performance rating was. Uh -huh. So a person who got a three and a person who got a five, uh, if they were doing the same job and two different people rating them, that's so, it, it, you know, there's a certain amount of arbitrariness in it. That's, that's what I've said from it's the get-go when it first it's came. But, that's, yeah. that, but it works okay in the private sector because most private sector people don't know what the guy next to them is making. So, well, that's, in that's the true. In private sector, what you get paid for is doing more work. Yeah. Yes. Uh, if that were true. <laughs> I worked in the private sector. So did I. Most years. of my years. The only time I, I got a raise forever. is when I got a job title change. Right. It was the only time I got a raise. And, and if, you, if you consider there's a range for a person's position, take a mechanic. Mechanic has a range from coming out of school and working 40 years. There's a dollar range in that that they have to, they're capped at. Mm -hmm. If they're a mechanic, the best mechanic in the world, they're only gonna make X amount of dollars at the end of but the But you're, you're gonna pay a highly qualified mechanic with 20 years experience more than you're gonna pay an inexperienced mechanic. Of course. Presumably. That's why and I said that's what, the range. And that's what Th that's the, what the compensation schedule has to look at. Is what the compensation schedule is intended. It's not by any stretch perfect. But, you know, somebody with 10 years experience in the job compared to someone with one year experience in the job or zero is going to be, you're going to pay that person more. I, I agree, but how much is it worth? Well, and that's, that's the problem. That's and, the and, you know, I, and I don't million dollar question we can't answer tonight. And, 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 and we've again, been battling this since day one as to what to do the other, about the other this. Thing that, that, you know, it's got to be based on job is, job description but should we call in the expectations. Yeah. And, 
But well, should it, we it call them fact. experience, not steps? And that makes a whole lot more sense to me. Yeah, experience Every is where you step, instead of calling them step, call them experience and, in the and job. And have a less of an increase. Right. Well, than a full step, because those steps yeah. are too much. Well, they're too much if you say that the <clears throat> difference between the high salary and the low salary is 50%. And that's what we've done with this thing. Mm -hmm. We could have said it's 20%. Those high numbers would not have changed. The, all of the ones below would have, and we would be paying a hell of a lot more now. And maybe that's what we should have done. Well, it may be. But, you, you know, if you guys yelled last year, what you certainly would have yelled a lot more. Yeah. Uh, and and there's, there's no good answer. That's no. the problem. No, you can beat this to death all night. And when you get all done, you're still going to come up with the same conclusion. And if they get this $15 minimum wage in, in, in the yeah. next five years, you know, all this is all to naught anyway. So yep. because you take the guy who's got 40 years experience, you think he's going to work for 60000 they If the bottom guy is getting 30000 with with no experience right out of high school, is that going to happen? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean that's we're 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 doing that. Actually. So it needs to be it needs to be looked at every year. The same argument's going to be uh, uh, come around every year, uh, and that's the way it is. Well, well that's, we that's, were tasked with finding a way a of tough doing job. A, okay. <laughs> finding difficult. a way of doing an evaluation on each employee, it whether. They're good or bad. Every employee needs to be evaluated, mm -hmm. and they need to know their strengths and they need to know where their weaknesses are. And you know, we talk over and over and over about what we're going to do with these evaluations once we do them. We do them. That's why I say instead of saying step, we should say experience. The number of years of experience. It's the same thing. Well, it kind of is, but I can, it, yeah. I can work at a job and have 20 years of experience and not know much more than I knew yeah. 10 years ago. Well, I would hope not. Well, I would <laughs> I hope, hope not, you too. Have. How do you, uh, how do you evaluate? There is people out there that are... How do you evaluate that experience? Yeah. I, I would agree with you. The problem that we have is we've got, we've got this situation in, in the towns where everybody and their brother it has access to yeah. payroll information. You can go online, you can find out what everybody makes at the University of Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. And if you think, you know, just think the people who work at UMass, they're sitting there saying, hey, how come he's paid that much more than I'm paid? Or she's paid that much more than I'm paid? I need a raise. Because I do a job that's comparable to what somebody else does. Uh, then you go, you go work at the job that pays more. Well, absolutely. And that's, a, and that's not the town's, yeah, the town well, should not be responsible for somebody that wants to make more money and they can't in the position that they are. Well, that's, right. that's why, that's why I, I asked the question uh, and, and I picked the number at the top, the 60,000, which is arbitrary. Is that position for someone with 10 years of experience, is that number an accurate reflection of the job that, that, that we expect that person to do. And if we don't expect them to do $60,000, then we shouldn't pay them 60. On the other hand, you know, we've got people who are already uh, complaining about the top salary schedule that they're gonna fall into in a few years. Well, you know, the benefits of the town pays are incredible. I don't see anybody leaving. Nobody's leaving. I think that's well, kind of the bottom that's, line. That's not necessarily true, but I don't know that they're leaving because of the salary they're getting at. So I, well, the salary is increased by 40 to 50 percent with benefits. But, so, but some of us do not take advantage of the benefits either. So but that's but you should. Yeah. If, I mean, that's and that's part, another that's thing we talked about is package. maybe there's a benefit me, in that's part of the these people package. who don't take advantage of the health insurance, for example. You know, because I know money. a lot of places you right. go, you they well, give you, you give them a stipend for not or give them a stipend for right. not taking. Yeah, yeah well, you get right. into a cafeteria plan is what that's called. We talked about that and, last night. Right, as yeah. well. four fifty-seven. You know, and I don't think there's any argument. You know, it, let's face it. 
you've got to pay a fair fair wage for a job description, whatever that job description may be. And I don't think anybody's opposed to raises. That's not the case at all. No. It's just, it just how it's going to be done is the concern, especially when you're going basically with a merit, with a merit pay. We're basis. not going with a merit. That's well, you are if you're doing evaluations or not. Not necessarily. What does the evaluation, I mean, what's the purpose of the evaluation? As far as I'm concerned, as I, you know, it's, you get to keep your job. Exactly. That's the first priority. Yeah. But you are going to determine whether somebody gets a step increase or not with that evaluation. That, I don't know what, how much discussion you had about that or, uh, I mean, that, I'm sure that that was in the back of everybody's mind, but. Otherwise, why would you be doing the evaluation? Oh, so you tell the person what told it is us to look into it. Like and what doing hey, well, that's what I'm just saying. Why, why would you do an evaluation? If everybody's going to get a raise automatically. Because, oh, there's a lot of reasons. There's why. steps in that stuff. The, the reason for giving a raise shouldn't it be based. The evaluation is intended to give the employee goals. Yes. The, the, yeah, well, I, I understand that. To no, Believe me, the, I understand that. For the department head to say, goals are. these are the things that you're doing well, these are the things that need to be improved on, and this is what I want you to work on. Okay. You so you have two like employees. One, one has a raving review on their evaluation, the other one doesn't. Mm -hmm. Are they both going to get their step increase that no. year? No. They should not. Well, that's to be so you go back, and that's that's a merit basis. When, yeah. But if you look at it, if you don't have an evaluation in the, in the system somewhere, yeah, or a letter, to. or something, mm -hmm. and this person gets fired. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. That's you, what I'm you saying. You have to have stuff like this. Of course in the you file. do. That's that's what I'm saying. And if you and if you're not going if you're not going to, you know, I mean. I, I understand the idea of saying to a person, well, you know, you're not doing the job to what I would expect you to do, and therefore I'm not, you're not going to get a step increase. So if you're making $40,000 a year and the step increase, you're going to get your 2%, but you're not going to get your 5%. You know um, what I would have said? I would have said, why didn't you tell me this six months ago so I could have fixed it? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Tell me six months ago. Don't tell me Jan uh, July 1st that I'm not going to get a raise because I'm not doing it right. Tell me in December. And then, but the, my point is, if you tell, you know, if, if you're the supervisor, you tell me in December, Skip, you know, these are the things that you need to improve on. You know, you do these reasonably well. These, you know, you're always leaving the damn truck without any gas in it. Put gas in the truck before you put it away. Tired of having to send a gas can out on the job site the next morning because obviously making it up. So I say, okay. So, so, so I come back and next next July, let's say gas is a big deal. You say, we had this conversation six months ago. You're still not putting gas in the gas tank. Six months from now, if you're still not putting gas in the gas tank, you won't have a job here. This, isn't that the basic way that that should work? Yes. Yeah. And that's the, that's but the way. But if you say it's at the six month review, you say keep it up. You're putting gas in the gas tank. We really like it. Mm -hmm. Does that mean come July you get a raise? No. It means you're doing your job. You're right. right. You're doing the job. Well, if you're doing your job, then you know presumably you've gained experience and you're worth more to the to the town than you were a year ago. That's true or not, but that's the that's the point. That's also, that, that's we still we still have the problem where, and and you've seen the salaries that are paid, uh, in 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 education. They have steps, just like the town does, and over the course of the time that they start, if you start off with a bachelor's degree, and you're 25 years old, then when you're 36 or 37, if you started it you know, $40,000 a year, you're going to be making 60000 Actually, you're going to be making more because you're going to go get a master's degree and you're going to gain another 5000 bucks there. So, uh, you compare an apples and oranges with yeah. a teacher versus yeah. the mechanic. Why? I was 
I'm a teacher, and you explained to me why it was that I was entitled to those automatic raises. Because that's what was negotiated through because your union. Because that was what that. was negotiated. And, and, maybe, and maybe that needs to be looked at, too. Maybe that's why the school budget's getting so expensive, and maybe that's why we're going to get to a point where, unless we raise taxes sky high, that it's not going to be sustainable. I'll tell you what. The, the problem doesn't come in. The salary increases that 5% raise mm -hmm. has minimal impact on the budget. You ultimately will get people leaving and somebody coming in at the bottom step. Once they get to that top step, if the school puts their foot down or the, the school committee puts their foot down and negotiates a contract and says, look, we'll give you, the, you know, we'll provide you with a, with a cost of living increase, but we're not going to every five years come in and put a a new step in so that the person who's on, and you've seen that, you were in mm -hmm. education, that's what happens. You get, you in know, some people systems. With, you get, you get ex experienced teachers who do the negotiations and, you know, they come in and they pound their fist and you've got school committee members who have two or three years experience and they say, look, you know, all of these other people are getting 5% raises every year. For the last 10 years, I've been getting 2% colas and that's it. Can't you at least put another step on this thing? And the, and the school committee goes, yeah, we can do that. Uh, and it's like they, they, just, they just got it. When you look at the school com school's budgets, though, uh, especially one with the elementary, and I'm not trying to pick on the schools because it's the nature of the beast, but if you looked at their budget last year and you took a look at that, the majority of that budget was all salary related. Sure, 70, 80 percent. It was closer to 90 percent. Whatever the number right. is, the, the, the old 80 percent, right. the old rule of 80 percent right. comes in there. And as uh, I, I say, agree. everybody yeah. deserves a fair, a fair, you know, salary. There's no question about it. But you just have to have some consistency. Okay. And, and I, it was, okay. I like what I heard with you saying that uh, this should be reviewed every year. Because I think it's necessary to have that reviewed every year. And, and we got into trouble seven or eight years ago when the selectmen, for whatever reason, you know, decided that they were going to save money or whatever. They, I don't even understand exactly what, what reason they had. I wasn't that involved with it. Mm -hmm. But they never, they basically never had a personnel committee because you got down to two people in it, I think, for a good, good number of years. So the personnel committee never would sit, you know, meet to put a compensation plan together for the selectmen to look at and bring to town meeting. I mean, town meeting votes the compensation plan. Still, you know, the, 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 what impacts costs are the top steps and colas. I don't care what and you benefits. do. Well, but what I'm saying is, that if you're what the the cost of the salary mm -hmm. piece, yeah, but the salary piece, the impact is what's paid on the top step, and what your cola is. You want to reduce salaries, squeeze colas, and doesn't you know what's a half a percent? It's nothing, but you do it three or four years or five years in a row, and all of a sudden, that half a percent now is two and a half, three percent. Hey, pretty soon you actually stop talking dollars. Maybe you should say, okay, Joe, <laughs> Jane, whatever, you've done a good job. We're going to give you a step increase, but you don't get the cola. The person that isn't getting a step increase gets the cola. No. Well, we have colas out there because it's I a cost of living. Yeah, if you're getting a raise, it's covering the cost of living, I and you get the financial guidance on this. I want to call the question. Call you want to stop the debate? Yes. Okay. I have no objection. It was helpful. All those in favor of stopping the debate? Aye. 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 Okay. So what, what else do we need? I have a, uh, I have a request from the Capital Improvement Planning Committee. Do you still have a spreadsheet that shows what was requested and where things stand? Have that do you do that? Well, yeah, we haven't got to that point yet, but we will be doing that because the requests are just coming in. Yeah.
Can right. we get a copy of that for our meeting? Is it like the latest that you've had every time we have a meeting? So yeah, we'll know. try to we'll try to do that. Uh, we'll just have to we'll have to if we arrange for somebody to do a spreadsheet. That's all. Will you try to okay. add to it. It'd be Brenda? nice. It'd be nice. Let me say it'd be nice if you could. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, no, we will. The capital improvement uh, committee will keep you up to date as far as the finance committee. Those two things go on the agenda. We can put out CPA, just discussion on rate. We can put that out next meeting. Mm -hmm. I have background information if you'd like it on CPA. Well, I I think you know the discussion was really. Are we, yeah, are we? Well, it's about the yeah. effects of you or and how you do that, and that's what I have information. Yes. And the impact on it. But, so, do you so, want to send that to us? I so can, can hand it out it? to you because I don't want to carry around this much. <coughs> <coughs> and then the end of year reports is that something? I, I didn't print anything. Um, if you would like an end of the year report, I can print one for you, but I didn't, I, I didn't we, think it was we, worth it. We had. The summary reports at some point in time for the end of uh, June, um, and I'm not sure. I don't know if you had the final final one for the year, but I guess I guess I see it as a moot point at this point. But if you if you well, if you well the only reason copy, I was thinking of it was that we had four hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars of excess unexpended budget. It might be nice to know where it was. I, I would agree with that. So, you know, okay. if we just put them in the, in the boxes. Yeah, I think the last one we got was June and uh, May, I think. No, I, thought, I thought we had one the end of, sometime in July no, or August, August I think we that had the end of June. Is it? And, and it, wasn't, it wasn't complete. Well, I wasn't it never at gets that meeting, that's why. I wasn't at that meeting. So I didn't get it. I, I mean, I thought I don't have it, so I don't, uh, I can't say. But there's no reason that you can't have it. Yeah, I think it'd be helpful. Yeah, yeah. whatever report there is, I don't want you to create one, but if there is one. Sure. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> yep. an hour, half an hour too late. Yeah. Our next meeting. <laughs> when do you want to have the next meeting? When are we going to have budgets? She's. <laughs> We're looking at Wendy for January. <laughs> yep. <laughs> January. Uh, but we can. We. I don't mind having a meeting in early January, uh, even if we don't have all. Budgets. We're not going to have the school budgets, but certainly, if you look here, there are, you know, 10, 15 budgets that we could very quickly go through and just rubber, you know, essentially rubber stamp. I don't think anybody's going to get too bad out of shape about a $250 budget, even if they only spent $25 last year. So, so when would you like a meeting? When's the, what's the first? What day is that? Monday. Monday? Yeah. Monday? Yeah. You want to do it that week? You want to do it the week after? I'll be back on the 15th. I'll be back in the office on the So 15th. you'd like us to do it before you come back so that you can get out of the way without having to put up with us? No. We have to tag team. So um, I'd like you to wait. 17? Even those, 17? Even those small... Inconsequential budgets that we have to talk about and just get out of the sure. way. I don't yeah. Think, I don't see a problem. And we can, and you've got capital, so we certainly can talk about capital even if we want to make any decisions or recommendations, not decisions. So, what are you talking about for a date? I'm looking Second for. Second Tuesday in the month, January. 
The second, I that would be the, uh, ninth. the second. ninth. Does that sound right? The ninth? Nope. I can't go the second Tuesday of the month. You can't? Yep. Nope. Would you like the first Tuesday of the month? I could. No, That's the second. the second. So the second of January? No. Yeah. The second of January. No big 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 big. <laughs> I don't know. It no quorum. No quorum. So, I don't think this committee knows anything about quick meetings. I hope so. <laughs> um, sorry. It's true. Okay. Second. Is that it? Mary can make the second. I can, make, I can make the 2nd of January, oh. I just can't make the 2nd Tuesday. Which would be the uh, 9th of January. Yeah. So if we put it off to the 3rd That's Tuesday. getting, that's pushing it. You sure? Yes, yeah. Well, I would when like do you be back? It's all right, I, you know, I'd What's like to get. That would be the 16th. Does uh, uh, do, do, do that? other day can you do you get that? Martin Luther day? day so uh, King so Day off on the, the we do. How, oh, that's on Sunday. So is Monday off? Monday is the holiday. Monday, yeah. Monday the yeah. sixth or seventh, day. whatever it is. Oh. It'd be the eighth, eighth. Monday the eighth. Monday the eighth. Yeah. Yeah. Can you do that? Yeah. We can try. Um, I mean, as long as it's later, because the personnel is early on the same day. January, February, March. Personnel is at five, so we get yeah. right into it. No you problem. okay for a meeting that night with, huh? with personnel in addition to that? Two meetings. The eighth, yeah. January eighth. Well, so we we meet. meet at five. Six thirty. So we meet at six thirty or seven if on what the eighth? The eighth. Is that okay with yeah. everybody? Yep. Yeah. One eight six thirty. Yeah. See how nice I am to you? What? You, you don't have to put up with this first like meeting it. of the year. <laughs> I just want to chat with Mary again after the meet after tonight. Just check in again. Okay. Did we adjourn? I'll make a motion. Uh, one adjourn. other quick one other quick comment. Yeah. Um, I tried. Is most of you know that I'm on a bylaws review advisory committee and looking through some of the other towns and so forth. And one of the problems that has always been with every committee, uh, in, including this committee, is finding new people. And I've noticed this a couple of the towns in their bylaws that have provisions for alternates on the finance committee and I would be inclined to recommend that you know it to the select board and I'd like to see how the committee itself you know for uh, you know to kind of groom uh, if we could find it but to allow the moderator uh, <laughs> to appoint two alternate main members non-voting you know other than a, uh, if there's a voting member missing to try to uh, bring somebody into that. I don't know how much longer Mary's going to. I see she signed up for another three years on a pension fund, but. Uh, <laughs> she wants to get so you, you got to stay on the finance committee. Oh, that doesn't mean that. <laughs> huh? That doesn't mean that. <laughs> so, uh, of but I, you know, I like to hear a couple comments. If, you know, we, I, we're having enough trouble getting just the number we need. Well, and that, but that's what I'm saying. You know, it, it, it put it on a provisional. They may appoint somebody, not shall, because you know. But leave it open so that the so if the opportunity comes along that somebody might be interested, they could be put on as an alternate. So that if one of us. So if you have a full board and you want if somebody wants to get on to get the experience, right? Like, right. Yeah. In the mean, in the meantime, I mean, you know, I've, as I've told you, I go on vacations. John's going on vacations, and. Uh, uh, you know, so I, you know, yeah, as well as anybody gonna, else. I'm going to stop going on vacation. I'm retired, too, and I don't get to go on vacation. Well, so you guys, well, no, but I mean, you know, we're all in a different position at this point in time, and I just I just thought it was I think, pretty... I think we need to address the underlying issue, because it's not just this board. No, I, no, I, I understand. All the boards you serve on multiply. I, <laughs> I understand. It's true with every board. To bring but, more people in. 
And it's every town has this problem, but we right. really need to, to make that and, work. And what, what's strange is, I, I mean... And you are a hard-working board. I want to acknowledge that. And thank you so, for that. You do a lot of work, so appreciate that. You get your boots on. Unlike some others. <laughs> All right, you know, I just thought it might be, you know, uh, there again, I, I could go, you know, we could go on and just recommend them, but I'd open for comments, I'd, you know. So you imagine that an alternate would, if you were away for a month or two, they could vote? Right. Well, you, even even for general meetings, well, like tonight, John's not here. Mm -hmm. You know, so I mean, it's, uh, in the meantime, it would kind of... I think that the person could vote if they needed to be a quorum. A quorum. That's what I'm talking about, but a non-vote. If you had enough people to have a quorum, an alternate would not be on the vote. So... No, I'm, I'm, uh, you know, alternates I'm, don't code count in the quorum count. Right. Exactly. So it wouldn't well, throw things only, off. only if there wasn't a quorum. Only if there wasn't a quorum, they would count. And they could make and a quorum. Then they could make a vote. They could vote. Mm -hmm. No. But not for, not for a miss, mi missing member? No. no. We, we I do, don't think. We've got a vacancy on the personnel committee. Uh, who else? What else do we get vacancies on? Planning board? Conservation committee? No, there's a lot of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's yeah, a lot of them. Uh, and then there's a lot of, I mean, I'm not doing it, so I shouldn't, but there are a lot of various board members who serve not just on one, but no. two boards. Or three. Well, we all do. Yeah. <laughs> well, we all do. I mean, and I some don't. of our committees are structured that way, CPC, yeah. Yeah. Uh, CIPC, what else? Yeah. Well, Planning. personnel, Planning. Mary's. Right. Yeah, so. all of us are on something else. Right? You're on no. Jeff is on CIPC. Yeah. Uh, yep. You're on bylaw. I want one. Uh, and what do you want? One. Sewer? Finance. Sewer study. No. He got off. Yeah. Oh, you got oh that's right. You're not on that one. No. You want to get you want to get on that one? No. No. <laughs> 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 So anyway, if you think about it before uh, by next meeting, I'd appreciate it and throw some uh, comments together. So, on that, I'm all done. Motion. <coughs> so moved. Second. Second. All those in favor of adjourning. Aye. Aye. We're adjourned.